All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another modern video with uh, drunk Mike. Drunk Mike, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is this is my buddy Rob. For those who don't know, because uh, I know you know an hour into this video, people are going to be like, "Who's the guy behind you?" And I'm going to be like, "Well, that's just drunk Rob." Um, so today we're actually playing a deck from one of my uh, Patreon patrons. Uh, his name is Josh V. Josh V S, I guess you could say, and uh, he sent over this pretty sweet. Affinity list. We got a flint, but it's not your normal affinity list. It's a Pia's Revolution affinity list, uh, which is actually crazy. I actually wonder why this card does not see more play in affinity decks. Isn't it good? Like you just sack a thing to Ravager, and they have to pay three to, or else you just keep getting it back forever. That seems weird. That's it's pretty it's, dependent on the cost of what you're sacking. Because if it's Men Mites and stuff like that, Men Mites. Mem knights. What's a men might? Mem knight. Is that a male like termite? It is. A men might. Men might. Okay. Sounds also sounds could be Australian. Like as well. I'm gonna let you have your ornithopter. I'm probably already dead to the ravager oh. either way. You know what I'm saying? So like replaying an ornithopter and sacking in doing again. Yeah, but like that's the difference between infinity and three, right? Sure. Like if I don't give it back to you, you I take three. If I give it back to you, I'm giving it back to you forever, so I'm taking infinity. Mm -hmm. So I would probably just give it back to you then, right? And anyway, we got Atog, we got a fling here, we got Double Pia's Revolution, uh, everything else is pretty... Oh, actually, Disciple of the Vault, yeah, so pretty... A lot of a lot of standard affinity cards, but also a lot of pretty unique affinity cards, too, which is pretty sweet, so... I guess, uh, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. Some of the numbers confuse me. Like what? The single fling. Si well, fling, fling it's, well, it's, okay a, it's a flingle. I, a flingle. I'm okay with the flingle, right? Because you have multiple <laughs> ways, but the, the single atog that just seems. Do we wouldn't we want third revolution? They stack. Well, it's like a ravager number three, right? They're they're tr they're trigger stacks. Yeah, but there's only 18 lands in the deck. Well, I guess we got four mox opals too. Yeah. Look, man, I don't know. I didn't build. We'll figure it out. That's okay. what we're gonna do. Let's we're gonna do it figure, together. Yeah, we are. We're, we'll hold hands on during. A journey. Yeah, we're on a journey. We're yeah. on a, uh, a finding out journey. All right. Oh, what up? We got Josh in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. It's really nice, right? Oh, God. Sure, and thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. Uh, Rob, uh, Rob had a good time, so that's good. Uh, we will play first. Uh, this I'll just keep this hand because it's just Affinity. This is just a, a 1998 Affinity you. hand. Yeah, still, still kills you. Oh, my. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh, man. When your opponent says, oh, my, is the first thing. That's pretty good. All right, so we play this, we play this, then this guy costs two, so we can't do that. That's unfortunate. I has a sad. Explosive turn two, though. Oh, my God. Look what I did. Mismatched. Oh, person. boy. I'm fixing that right now. That makes me so uncomfortable. You just going to scoop? Yeah, I might as well just go to game two. You just scoop. Okay, so I only have two of the M15 ones. I have 26, 26 of this one, <laughs> and I have four of this one, and they choose to put the one I have two of in the deck. Sick, sick program. All right, there we go. The future will be much better. All right, land. I'm just going to wait on this ornithopter. I don't need to be throwing that guy out there yet. You don't need to thop? Yeah. No. I mean, I, if we draw a Mox Opal, I'm going to feel real dumb, because then we could have a... Uh, Played Darksteel Citadel, Cranial Plating, Equip, and then I'm going to feel stupid. But, you know, in that situation, that's never going to happen. See, that didn't happen. Play this little cutie. I cast it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Are you sure? Maybe he was just touching it in his hand. Yeah. Everybody's coming down. I like plating. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm wrong. Because if, well, we're dependent on land draw, I think plating is better right now. I agree. Flyer, yeah. yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah. Because, like, if we could equip this and play it next turn, that'd be great. If I sure. had another land, I'd do it, but. Sure. Oh, God, are you going to, I was like, are you going to path one of these guys? Do we have any basic lands? I think we want one basic land because there's paths in this format. This is a, this is a Magic the Gathering format with, where path deck style is a card. So, not having a basic land makes me <clears> sad. <throat> Looks like just guy. Robo cuties dot deck. <laughs> oh, you look like. Did you say it looks like Jess guy? And then no, I, played I, no I, did, I said Esper. Oh, I, I, yeah, you're right. I heard you. I heard mm -hmm, you say Esper. Mm -hmm. 
What's the weakest link? It's this guy, right? No, I think you keep the flying. I think you throw the memite to start. Okay. Well, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to default to Rob. You should. Because Rob's got some Robo Cutie knowledge, apparently. FNM top eight. We could have also put it on Frogmite to prevent Fatal Push. That's a thing. Yep. And this is going to feel bad because we have no basics. Womp womp. Josh, what are you thinking with no basics? Say, look at this. We already, we've already been hindered. And uh, by hindered, I mean they tucked our, our spell to the bottom of the library. I don't think that happened. Yeah, you don't know, though. Is the exile pile a myth? Your face is a myth. Got him. I didn't feel it. Yeah, it's because it was... Uh... You know what? Just shut up. Do you think about that? <laughs> think about it. Think about it from now on. This guy's getting countered. Faux show. Single pay for two? Spell caller? That would be amazing. No, uh, it's definitely not. You, you nailed it. Oh, logic not. Oh, that's sure. gross. Yeah. I mean, they take seven here. It's not terrible. No. If you get a land and they can't interact, you have they went, they, I, get on board. I hope they play Geist of St. Traft. That would be insane. Play Geist of St. Traft. Okay, well, they're they're really, they're juking us out with the, uh-oh, they're tapping out. I was just asking for charm. Oh my god, are they so they're, dead? Now they're dead. Land path, that's all, that's, all. oh no, no, is this turn three? No, it's turn four, yeah, land, up, oh, yeah, they're dead. Oh boy. Rip. It's not a land. They still die this dead. guy, right? Oh, no, 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 they're not. Yeah, yeah they are. We sack. Six, seven, eight. No, they're. No, you can't. Ah! We need to land. We suck. You know what? You know how we would have won if we had a basic land. If we had a basic land, to, or or we just cast this and equip the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, multiple ways in our hand to kill them this turn if we had a, a basic land. So you can see why. Shame scoop. You want a basic land here? We can't kill them, right? Wait, no, six, seven, eight. So like, if you sack this guy. <laughs> oh, so if we sack this guy. It just puts the it, it, we we, lo we lose we, the power from the right. Plating. We lose the power from the the plating, but we gain one counter. So yeah. it's it breaks. We break even. Yeah. I'd rather have him on board so we can get supreme verdict. Wait, what? Yeah, that was a joke. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't understand your, your <clears throat> Oh man, can you imagine if we had an island? Could have played that. You if, mean a basic island? Yeah, like a basic land that you could search for uh, when they cast Path to Exile. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. Next iteration. Josh, I'm totally just joking with you, buddy. <laughs> I like that within like five minutes we've already found like we're like okay this needs to be fixed perfect good it to, took good us to two go. minutes for the lands though that was your fault wait what was my fault the lands oh like the mismatch lands yeah. I don't want you to ever talk to me again all right so all of these are lethal do they have three answers that they oh look at that that's beautiful cryptic tap so don't cast they have to have cryptic tap you got your cryptic tap you're about to get tapped Get get them get them tapped. And draw a card. Wow. What? You get to pick two. This card's unbelievable. What a joke. I just thought cast pass. Why not just play plating here? Oh, oh! <gasps> Can we search? No, we just played. Oh, land. that's fine. That's fine. I mean, they, we win next turn, right? So yeah. we're just plating here. <laughs> Oh, do we just fling like Frogmite for the lulls? That's actually pretty funny. Oh my god, they're gonna. We're gonna get to fling signal. Oh, signal pest is zero one. What's <laughs> oh, our? It's okay. We go signal pest, uh, equip. equip, and then fling. Oh, because we have the extra land in hand. That's yeah. so awesome. <laughs> Sacking these doesn't do anything, right? No. Okay, that's no. fine. Oh my god, it's gonna be great. No, he's. I'm gonna, ready. Now he's got counter mana up though. It's a pest of us for the rest of us. I think you moved to end step here. I think you're part of the end step. Boop. Look how big he is. Look at this. I hope they try to kill it at the end step. That's all I want. Oh, <laughs> they were dang up six. It. <laughs> they were up six. Dang it. We missed our chance. A lot of lands in hand. I mean, we get to attack, so. Yeah. 
Let's get this steam Ventos. Ventos, the fresh maker. If you kill this guy right now, I mean, I would be really upset. Then there's stream sniping. And I would, yeah, I would, I would, I would assume some shenanigans were taking place. Look at that beautiful masterpiece, Mox. I think. Look at that. Look at that uh, Fabergé egg. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my God. What's going to happen here? Fatal push? Do it. Uh, this is going to feel so bad. It feels so bad. This is going to feel real bad. <laughs> it feels bad. I don't feel good about it. Oh, my God. We've missed so many opportunities. What is this? Are you going to, like... Oh, wow, that feels so bad. How much does he have, though? What do you mean? How he much can, does he have? Oh, he's he cryptic. He's cryptic commands. Oh, sure. One other thing I forgot. Uh, <laughs> you, ever, you ever seen that spell before? Mm -mm. Does he get to choose two modes? Should we have just done it? We should have just done it when we had two yeah, man up, I think. We should have. I, 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 I mean, it was my fault. Like, they could have had logic knot, but. <clears throat> Make him have it, I guess? Yeah, right, exactly. Like, having six man is so much worse. <clears throat> Valley Man, thank you so much for the, the for the bits. Really appreciate it. Your hubris was your downfall. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What is this? Snapcaster. Please make us discard two cards. Wow, they're gonna make us discard our no, watery grave. They're gonna draw. Oh, that's sad. Oh yeah, he is in draw step. That's when he's doing it. It's pretty good. It's a nice. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'll be honest with you. So we take 8 here, 9, 10, 11, 12. We go to 1. What can we draw that kills them? Ornithopter. I don't think that kills them. I think we're dead. We're dead. I told you you should have flung it at the end of turn. No. No. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Mismatch Ornithopters too? Yes. What the hell's wrong with this program? Yes. What? Literally one miss... Oh my god. Do I have old ornithopters? Do I have? That's not how you spell that at all. Or nah. these will do. All right, what are we cutting for a land? We're obviously not doing it now because we're in the middle of a match. But uh... probably cut one watery grave actually. Yeah, you only have two deltas, so um, make it a good one. It's I only have good ones. No, mm. I, I got a lot of non-good ones, too. Look at this thing. Look at this beautiful creature. It's colossal. All right. Oh, boy. I feel like we could have won that one. I feel like we could have won that one, like, multiple times over. Um, Dispatch, don't care about. Graft Digger's Cage. I, like, rip over Graft Digger's Cage. Of course you do. Of course you do. <clears throat> so, that's just a sober Robert thing to say. Sober Mike thing to say. Drunk Robert. I don't know who you are anymore. I don't know what's going on. Everything's bleeding together. It's all... Yeah, the timelines are colliding. Getting opponent to one life and then not being able to kill them is like drafting 30 Giles and letting Infernos and getting zero cards. Yes, that is quite similar to what it feels like. 1,000%. All right. Um... Nope. Nope. Thoughtseize? What do we take out, though? I always have a hard time boarding things out of Affinity because I never know what's good. Like, what do I not want against them? Maybe, like, a Frogmite? I don't actually think Frogmite's the worst on the play because it can't be pushed. You can't push them around. I'll take one. Uh, not Signal Pest. We'll take out one Springleaf. Drum. I was going to say Springleaf, yeah. For some Thoughts Sneezes. That seems fine. I don't care about Rip that much. They're just getting stuff back from the graveyard. Like, in, like, in, like not even, like, once in a while. I'll play first. Oh, uh, this hand seems good. I'll keep it. This is a turn... Just because we have a thought, the, the thought cast, I think that's the only reason why it's decent. Really? Because we can go turn, like, we can go this Single guy. Single Thopter. Swing for one. Next turn. This is two, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Swole Mike. We 
And someone donates to have play deck. Do you look through it and give any advice? No, I don't give any advice beforehand because I would rather play it and get a feel for the deck because a lot of times you can look at a deck and not know how it's going to actually play. Um, and the other reason is because I think that's just a lot of the the content itself, you know, enjoying the deck and like naturally figuring out what's good and what's bad about it. Um, actually, we can just keep this up. I'd rather keep like the the multicolor land up. Take one whole point of damage. <clears throat> They'll never win this game. Gotta run and grab my calzone. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a $6 calzone. Deal. That actually doesn't bother us too much. Yeah, especially... Oh, right on time. Joke's on you. This guy's not even an artifact. Good try. Good try. <laughs> oh, that that's that's an artifact, though. That's yes. unfortunate. <laughs> the first thing you reach for. Yeah, I was like, it's okay. I'll just play it off of this. Let's see what you got. Show Ooh, me what Gear you got. Hulk, Path, Fatal Push, Engineered Explosives. That's a rough hand. All right. Well, it's rougher because we don't have any basic lands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to take EE. No, they can't cast it. They have so many silence. Oh, yeah. That's great. Um, this is better. Yeah, that, that's significantly better. It's probably just path here, right? Yeah, I mean they're functionally the same against everything in our deck. Well, this this doesn't kill things like uh, frog frog frogmite. Sure. So, nope. Just making sure. One, two. You're gonna throw out the Utog? Yeah, why not? I mean, like if they kill it, they kill it. Like, I'm not gonna hold it in my Their hand. Their hand was forever. so slow. Maybe maybe we force them to push the pest. Push the pest. Oh, yeah, I forgot to update the deck list. My bad. God, I'm so bad at this this whole streaming thing. Alright. Let me go... Yep, they did it. Unbelievable. You think you know a person, and then they just fatal push your tog. Yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to do what you want it to do. Are they going to activate? Are they trying to... Act yes! <laughs> Gans! Nonbo. There it is. <laughs> I was like, that's not going to work the way you think it works, buddy. Oh. true. Is that the damage one? Or is that ink or blank? That's it's ink. Blank. It's 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 the one that deals damage, not okay. because you have no other way to infect. So, the old switcheroo. My my sideboard cards conflicted with themselves. So, Colin, we know you have torrential gear Hulk and his last two draws. Yeah. I do not feel the same. I'm a lich. I'm a... Well, you have to attack with Signal Pest because otherwise you don't get the battle cry. So it's not really sending a message. It's actually because you want your other creatures to get plus one, plus oh. Uh, I'm not going to play Memnite because... No reason to. Yeah, and well, because Sig Supreme Verdict. Yeah, they're, do they're dead on board too, aren't they? Yeah, that's... Well, more than dead, right? One, two, three... Four, five. Well, no. Okay, so exactly dead. He's still digging. This is a dig. Two men and a mem night. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. We have a good time. Oh, here comes the Supreme Verdict mana. They... Oh. Oh, I see. They would have casted it before the opt. Casted it. Casted. Casted. Wow, that's rude. Counter it. I don't have a, I don't have that. All right. Well. I don't have the thing you're suggesting. Oh. oh, does that do it? He pumps everybody. I, I yes, that's I know what he does. No, it's only three damage. 
Oh, because we can't activate the, the Nexus. Should have played the Mem Knight. We suck. Well, I mean, we played around. No, I know. You are you made the right decision. I mean, what are you going to do, man? Play around. Play around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Play around. It's, that's from... Uh, what is it? I, House of Pain? Yeah, don't worry oh, about okay. it. Sure. Don't worry about it, man. It's not a big deal. It was very painful. For all of us. I know. All right, so we know you have Gear Hulk in hand, so you can Gear Hulk next turn. So I'm definitely playing Mem Knight. Because I assume you're going to Gear Hulk and push, so that gets two things out of the way, which should leave two things. Oh, you go to one? No, they definitely did. Woof! A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. I guess they had to have the six mana for Torrential Gear Hulk, but sure. that's not going to do it. <clears throat> All right. Do I care about Stony Silence? I don't really think we do, other than the Ravagers. Is Etch Champion really good? I was thinking Etch Champion does seem good, but the fact that they have Supreme Verdicts is... Yeah, but I mean, like... Also, if we have Disciple of the Vault on board when they Supreme Verdict, that's pretty good, right? Seems good. It does seem good. Maybe we take out Masters for Do we Etch have a Champions. sack effect other than the Ravager? The Atog. Oh, the Atog, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times are we going to go over this, Robert? That was the second time. So two. Okay. Two times? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to have the discussion? No, I just wanted to make sure it was two. Okay. God, why are you being like this? Yeah, Stony did destroy them. Do you like Whip Flare? I do not. Okay, just checking. It doesn't hit our creatures. In the general context or in this matchup? In this matchup. You don't think it's good? Seems good. If they have a bunch of dudes, yeah. Gets rid of their Snapcaster They're range. probably running Secure the Waste. <laughs> Seems terrible. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're on the same page when we both... When we both uh, turn and make and, and say it's terrible i want to make sure we're both we're both there because mm -hmm. if i'm there saying it's terrible and you're like no man it's real good i seems pretty it's good. Gonna be awkward yeah yeah it doesn't no, make sense it's not good uh -uh. did you sit in the back of the class or the front of the class in school what year <laughs> i mean did you sit in the same seat every every year what well you're either a front of the class student or back of the class student right like that's pretty consistent well right? no generally they assign you desks okay so if they don't assign you a desk are you a guy that sits in the front of the class or are you a guy that sits okay, in the back of the class okay but that's not what he asked he didn't say if i had a choice sometimes you have to use context clues to determine what people mean okay fine okay front of the class <laughs> it sounds like you don't know and you just chose one randomly front, well i had a 50 50 shot at the answer let alone right or wrong. Why are you calling Swole Mike Robert? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to catch up. When will you stop singing two and a half minutes? I will. Uh, probably never. The answer never. is probably never. Never. EE's popping off either way. I don't. I, fragmentize is way too linear if you're trying to hit EE. Yeah, it's it. a sorcerer. We're going to be like, okay, on my turn, I'll fragmentize. And they'll be like, all right, I'll just kill you guys in response. Resolves. I understand. Balthazar, thank you so much for the, the sub. Really? Oh, Valley Man, thank you so much for gifting the sub. A preach. I'm going to bring these guys in because I think they're really good. I'm going to take out one Mox Opal. It's a, it's, a, it's a controversial decision, I'm sure, and one Frogmite. Is this just testing or for fun? Isn't Karn always a must at this point? I have no idea. Uh, but this is a deck critique from someone who... Uh, it, for from one of my Patreon patrons, um, uh, it's actually a pretty good hand. Is it? Yes, you get to go turn one Springleaf Memmite into Disciple the Vault. Oh, you're right. Actually, yeah, that's that's actually pretty good. I'm okay yeah. with that. What's we, a what's a Memmite? Oh, actually, we went over this. You yeah, we said it. You said second, it wrong the first second time. time. Well, no, first time you said Memmite. This time you said Memmite. So you're getting closer. You told me you told me that we were playing Jeskai Ascendancy combo, so I wasn't studying for Affinity. Well. I feel like that's your fault. Hey, Mox, we're killing it. That was actually a good draw. We're killing it. That's exactly what we It's a very good draw. Do we plating? I don't know. Because if we plating... Oh, we can play this guy. And... If we plating, it draws out the push or the path on the before the Disciple hits the board. That's my only thought. But if we play the Disciple, we still have, we'll have a guy to plating next turn. I don't know. Or we could just draw two cards now. That I seems like good. I like drawing two also. You do or don't? I think I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. How do you feel? I like I like it. A lot. I like it a lot. Mimnut. <laughs> Are they going to... Do I have Spell Pierce for this? That would be super weird. Oh, Spell Pierce, yeah. Hmm. No. Hmm. That was a fast fake. Right? Seemed, I was like, I'm going to play these lands. They didn't let me. <laughs> 
Also, we're at two nine. We're back at back at two ninety four subs, guys. What happens at? Oh, well, that's terrible. All right, well, cheating. I guess the game has ended. Game just got better. Um, not by much though. Nope, because we can't equip plating. Yeah. I think it's just a terrible deck, isn't it? It's not great. One, two, three. <laughs> I mean, we can still play this guy next turn. We can just go <clears throat> Disciple here. Yeah, it's a, damage, watery grave. it's a damage race at this point. Just One, two, attacking. three. We can't actually cast this. Just making sure. Yep, that's fine. Can we have a party at Hungry Howie's if we hit 300 subs? Yeah, you guys are all invited. We already hit 300 subs like two days ago. Like, we literally hit 300 subs two days ago. I was at 302 for two days. And then I lost like nine subs overnight, so... You know, that's this is life, guys. This guy doesn't have protection from uh, Supreme Verdict. That's that's stupid. <coughs> Magic's dumb. Confirmed. I'm gonna cast this guy, and then we're gonna thought cast here. Unless you want to counter my mem knight. Small mics, mem mites. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Oh, just keep them coming. Little thought cast into thought cast. <laughs> Will you counter this one? Look at all these things we're drawing. Cumulative that... power zero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we're gonna. Here we go. Here we go. You're gonna push my guy, huh? That's, That's rude. That is rude. You should have mox opal for the value. You think I should have done that? I don't know. Probably not. God, I'm so afraid of everything. We need a signal pest. At 300 subs against Swole Mike and regular Mike, fight in hand hand combat covered in Hungry Howie sauce until we have a winner. Loser eats the breadsticks dipped in the sauce. Winner gets the stream instead of Frankfurt. Wow, that's. I uh, I commend that level of. That level of detail. Okay. Uh, it's a good amount of lands. I think I'm, I'm probably done with my lands for, for the game. Just tuck them. That's what she said. Did she? I don't know. Just tuck your lands? Yeah, I don't care. Get in there. That way we can search out another basic if they have... If they settle a wreckage. If they settle a wreckage. Here we go. They're going to do it. <laughs> they're going to totally settle it. No, it's no, fine. Okay, whatever. It's just old Snapperino. Hmm. Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, their Snapcasters are mismatched, so... Yep. That's good. It's a battle of degenerates. Yep. I'm having a bad time. Whatever. Having a bad time with this single match right now. All right. Um, one, two. Just play Ornithopter. Play Ornithopter. Atog, you're my only hope. Do we have any literal way to deal with the Sony Silence? Uh, not in the main deck, no. No. I mean, very rarely do they sure. do Affinity Decks have that. We had the Fragmentize, if you, if you recall. Oh, sure. Yep. Gotta get us there. It's Supreme Verdict or Bust for him. I mean, this is what this is the guy we were like waiting for the, <laughs> the Supreme Verdict to play. So. Yeah, what sucks about it, though, is that his uh, six-mana play significantly... Okay. Tell me about his six mana play, Mike. Robert. I almost called you Michael. You, you kind of did. I almost did. It that didn't happen. Dang it. That was rude. Was that a dang it because he took damage or a dang it because it happened? Uh, no, because it happened. Oh, okay. Oh, they're digging. Is there a haste creature we can get? No. That's not bad. That's damage. It's actually not bad. I would have played it pre-combat. Yep. Oh, well, it's going to exile anyways. Never mind. Oh, I hit yes thinking we made the changes, but... Also, if they had path and we played... If we played that guy, we would have just... They would just pass that guy instead, I'm sure. Now I probably will play this just for the damage. Always yes. Because now it's like if we draw Atog... One, two, three. It's extra three points. Still digging. Still digging. 
Thanks, Zora. The Super Soldier Serum really panned out for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gas. Oh, I see. You're That's just, rude. No, that is rude. I'm just going to play lands because we know they have uh, Snapcaster Esper Charm, so I don't really want to. Oh, this can't even be tapped for mana. Good lord. Sunny Silence is a, is a real bad broken. Savage beating. Yep, and this is exactly why we did it. Esper Charm's good. I mean, yeah, I'd rather it's 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 better than that. We don't have a. It's gonna be a tog. Oh, that's such a good card to hit. That happened both times. Both times they hit a thought cast in their hand. A la sure. land thought cast. That's yes. worse. Do you have another one? Wow. Do it, please. This seems like bad value for you, but. You know, what do I know? He's got three card, four cards. He's just throwing them in her face now. Now he's just rubbing it in. Yeah, right in her face. Yes. Yes, do it again. Wow. Gear Hulk it. I mean, I'm not necessarily thrilled about them gear hulking it just because they're getting a gear hulk. But so. if you had to choose, right, you'd prefer that he gear hulked and made us discard versus him drawing two. I prefer him not play the gear hulk, I guess, if, my, if I had to make if a it choice. If to that point... One swole bug. Kerwin, thank you so much, buddy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man. All four thought casts are in the graveyard. I think we only cast one of them, two of them. We didn't cast that third one, did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we had that little thought cast train. That's not terrible, but it's never resolving, so... Even if it does resolve, it just blocks the Hulk. Yeah, and then we kill him on the, on the crackback. Yep, never never happened. How would we kill him on the crackback? It was a joke. Ah. Okay. I like that you actually considered that we might do that, though. All right, so we added the land. We fixed the Ornithopters. We fixed the <laughs> Darksteel Citadel problem. Okay, so that's those are the biggest problems I saw in the deck. Uh, do I have a better fling? I bet I do. <laughs> do I have an older, timeier fling? Oh, let's get this Stronghold. Yeah, let's do that. I better have a better Atog, too. Do I have a Master's Edition Atog? No. Do we like the 4-4 four -four instead of the 2-2? Two -two? Mirror Enforcer? Yes. No, it's just way too... You six? It's seven. Oh, yeah, seven's too much. I thought it was six. Yeah, so you're like, on average, I think you're going to have about three artifacts out at the point you want to cast it, and then you're sure, just sure. going to cost like four mana. Are we on an... I feel like Frog Bite's kind of a filler, though. I feel like there's better artifacts we could be playing that give us the actual affinity start with the other late game that we're looking for. What? I didn't hear a word you said. I blacked out for a second. I, I totally blacked out. Weird. Like a third master of Ethereum. And then a fourth signal pest. The problem is you don't want... Um, <clears throat> you don't want to dilute the deck too much, right? Like you want to keep the theme. Yeah, that's what... Well, I mean... Wait, what did you say? You I'm said saying remove the frog mites. Yeah, I can get behind that. I, I'm only saying that because I think there's better zero or well one one and two drops that we could play that are affinity. I like a frog knight. You said master theorem. I like a third master because it just pumps the team on three. And we Do you can like another it. a second atog? I like a second atog. Or, or honestly, I kind of well he's a sack outlet. Yeah, let's go two atogs. I like two atogs. Hold on, if we're going up to two atogs, you gotta buy a second. I'm gonna, gonna buy, buy some. Right I'm gonna buy good ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that's not the that's not the right one. Spending the fun bucks. <laughs> Yeah, they're probably gonna be like a nickel each. No, it's not. they're gonna be point. They're gonna, they're gonna be point oh oh five. Yeah, yeah exactly. they're not. They're gonna be less than one one cent. <laughs> five thousandth of a fun buck. That's oh, one. That's, that's the one. About. Now yeah. we can't lose. Fifty four cents. Oh no! Nope. Woo! Quit. I'll do it. No, nope. that's a. I'll you're, take it. You're all in right now. Are you all in right now? Hey, man. On the Atogs? That's crazy. That's a classic card. That is a classic. It's actually a really good play mat, too. It's a pretty sweet play mat. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that beautiful art. Right, what we got sound do you think he makes? Uh, I, don't, I, I try not to. Try one time. <laughs> do it! What is he... <laughs> We're not doing that. Or frag? Oh, fragment? Wait, what are you saying right now? Frag grenades. How about Traxos? <laughs> <laughs> That's gas, dude. Oh, man. I played the second Popper a long time ago before Clamp was banned. I ran for a Tog for a fast one. Oh, maybe you just want more Togs. Maybe a Tog is the secret. 
Like, this is the combo, right? The Sack Outlet, the Pia's Revolution, and uh, the Disciple. So, I think increasing the chances to get those is high. I, I think Frogmite's kind of... Frogmite's kind of... His day's over. I hate to say it. Yeah. I think Ornithopter's probably one of the weaker... Whatever. I think this is this is better. Let's 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 just try this now. This is why I like the the uh, play a match tweak it play a match format. Because we would have been we would have been in a league and we would have actually been playing match after match with no basic land to search for. I was gonna for. say against path like three. Right. Out of five yeah. Matches. And you're just like, wow. I wish I had one basic land on this deck. I wish I didn't commit five rounds to this because that would be. So, I like Frogman because it's effectively no zero mana, but not not necessarily though. <clears throat> Plus, I think your other zero mana artifacts are better. Like, Memnite is always a zero. Uh, and it's only got negative one, negative one over Frogmite. Um, Signal Pest is one mana, but it's significantly better. Ornithopter flies. So, I just think that the upside of... Um, this hand's good. The upside of Frogmite is not worth the potential downsides. I don't think we neutered the actual ability of the deck that we're going for. But at the same time, we enhanced the... Games we can win on just by turn three, just because we draw the Master of Ethereum, or we sit, or we sit. Yes. <laughs> what? Uh, well, I said sit for Citadel. Oh. Okay. And you said you heard me, and you were like, "Yes, yeah, sit." And I was like, "No, Citadel." I was I was talking about what land I was going to play. <laughs> Trying to play second land again. Nope, not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, I do. it's got to be Signal Pester, right? 100%. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because now you're just beating face, and then the disciple hopefully cleans them up with with Ravager. Yes. Yeah, did it. Shrapnel blast, not Matt's not a bad idea. Wouldn't we just play the other? Oh, well. Galvanic blast, maybe. Yeah. We're slowly becoming affinity. I wonder if I just run out disciple here. Like we can go Ravager, right? And then we just cast Disciple off of the Ravager. I like that because you know now that he sees Ravager, Ravager is going to eat something. It's going to eat a. They're probably going. I'm, I'm thinking they're going to remand. That's my thought. No. Nah. Lightning bolts, pest. Sure. sure. <clears throat> Path to exile. I feel that on the on the Ravager. After they're going to respond to your Disciple if they have that. Look at this affinity deck. Wow, they had it all. Jeez. Um, I don't think we need the basic. Yeah, I don't think we do either. I think I'd rather sacrifice this and say Dark Steel Citadel to put counters on the Ornithopter. Uh, yeah, because it takes it out of bolt and watch him call it range. Oh yeah, let's use the ability. Sounds good. <clears throat> I also use artifact lands while I try. <laughs> yeah, artifact lands are significantly different. If if modern could have artifact lands, we'd have a much different format. So, Arid Mesa. Well, they can't Sweltering Sun, so that's good for us. <laughs> or not Sweltering Sun, uh, Anger of the Gods. Oh, Electrolyze. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's classic. And they drew a card. <clears throat> it does that. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. It does do that. Land. Jeez. All right. Having a good time. <clears throat> oh, well, that was sad. <laughs> I, I hit F, I hit five to try to cancel it so I can attack with Blink Moth, but so they're essentially at twelve. We'll say we'll say they're at twelve for the sake of uh... tab in chat so they know. Be like, hey, you're at twelve. You're right at twelve. Okay. Can you can you honor this? Can you <laughs> honor system? Preach honor honor system. <laughs> scoop? Why would we scoop? That doesn't make any sense. They only have five cards. It's not a big deal. Yeah. We're just going to draw Thoughtseize into Thoughtseize. Thought cast. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think we have those in. One life does make a difference. 
The amount of times we've won at one life. He meant it was time for ice cream. That's what he meant by scoop. Oh yeah, multiple scoops. Always I got time you. For scoop. Always scoop time. Okay, I'll listen to Swole Mike. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> if they're on complete blanks, right? Because you know, four cards, they probably don't have anything good. You're a complete blank. And we keep drawing lands that well, attack. These are, yeah, these are men lands. Men lands? What's a men land? It's like oh, two. You're referring to both of them. It's a two and a half men land. Okay. <laughs> men, I, men, I can't believe you assumed the gender of the nexus. Yeah, when I was uh, when I was a TCG player and I was the editor, I was I, I always made sure we called them creature lands hmm. for that purpose. They're at 10. They're basically dead. <clears throat> Not, no, they're at 9. They're at a virtual 9. They're yeah. at 9. <clears throat> yeah. So. Hey, you're at 9. <laughs> hey, buddy. I forgot to swing, but you're at 9. <laughs> Can you scoop now? You know I won. Why won't you scoop? Is this really how you want to win? I can be that guy. <laughs> I will just, I'll type till my time runs out, bro. Oh, that's pretty good. This is a good card. Never going to happen. You don't think so? Never going to happen. We'll see. Thing of logic, not me. Don't not me, bro. It's dead. Yeah. So it's so die. It's not dead. Don't forget, this is a six-four. Like Some, they don't have that much removal that actually deals with this. Something's guy. happening. They're gonna sell the wreckage for one for this one. That'd be amazing. Huh? He's he, they're trying to decide which removal spell they're gonna use. <laughs> Just path if you got it, bro. Bought some ice cream cake yesterday and forgot to eat it? Who does that? I hope you left it in the freezer. Ice cream cake is not something you buy frequently enough that you forget you have it. Wow, they're at four right now. Do I play this land? Why not? I don't know. I don't like them not knowing what we ha knowing that we have nothing. That was an explosion of words in my face that didn't make sense. Oh, it made sense. I don't like that they know that they don't know if they have something. If they have nothing, do we? You know it. I knew the whole time. The answer was was with you all the whole time. Still dead on board. Not, well, I, we can activate one of these and fling it. We, what? They're at seven. We could just attack with both. Okay, but alternatively, uh huh. If we have my problem point, is that, like they have this now. They're still dead unless they have a spell. They block here. They're not dead. <laughs> God, dude, I'm trying to tell you they're not dead. <laughs> Violated Gorilla, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Two months in a row. Sorry about what happened, though. Uh, Frank, introduce me to that cutie behind you. This is uh, Swole Mike. Uh, I don't know if you knew that. That's his name. And uh, I told you I was here, babe. Yeah, she was in the chat immediately when I started streaming. Before was I was really? live, yeah, she was in the chat. She knows all about you, Swole Mike. I'm hoping they don't have Electrolyze, but if they have Electrolyze, they can't also activate this. Do I pump this guy? Or I'll just pump. I don't want to expose both to the elements. To the harsh elements. They got a block here, right? Hold on. Let's think this through, actually. If you play land... I, we should have, yes. We should have... We, we There's a up. lot of decisions to... to Infinity is... This is yeah. one of the reasons I don't play Affinity. Yeah. Because there are a lot of decisions to make. Uh, if we play land, we could have actually tapped this guy and Springleaf Drum and Glimmer Voided to re-equip in mid. So do that in the future. Yeah. Oh. Odd. Are they going to mana leak us? <laughs> what is happening? I actually don't know what's happening. I, I kind of like not not attacking there and, and casting the plating to free up your mana for next turn. If they're going to counter it, they're going to counter it next turn. You know what I mean? But if you land it this turn, it frees up your mana for next turn. And then we could do what we said, which is the double tap. The D-tap? The D-tap. Yeah. I, I got you. The simultaneous tap. Simul tap? The simul tap. So we're just stacking for three then, right? We can also pump this guy with the Blink Moth Nexus. But... Bye, babe. Bye, Astrid. Enjoy your enjoy your work. This 
So I'm going to play this. I'm going to assume they don't have mana leak. <clears throat> okay. What? What's, what are they? What's happening? Well, they also have, they have to crack this to play mana leak, which they probably don't want to do. Sure, but the the cryptic play was odd. See which mic the chat likes best. That sounds <laughs> small mic or thick mic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Who goes back to work? I'm still at work. Jeez. Okay, so Mike B doesn't do honesty streams. Glimmer voids for days, dude. I'll play all the lands. That's actually good for us because now we don't need to rely on the Springleaf drum activate activating the, the nexus for that. I'm just going to nexus all day. Who are you blocking, bro? I promise I'll I'll equip the one you don't block. Maybe. Ah, uh, not this one. Cryptic Command again. We messed up. Did we? Yeah, we should Oh. No, no, you had to force lethal. Well, no, we could have activated one of the Blink Moss after, oh, post. like, sure, in, sure. in Declare Combats. Yeah. So you think they have Settle a Wreckage? Oh, my God. No. Do they run that? Is this a modern card now? No. No, they're dead. Oh, they're not dead. They could have Path. Yeah, they could path have Path. Ornithopter. Alternatively, I'm thinking we could put it on Ornithopter and actually kill one of the colonnades. And then just deal them two and put them to one. Does that make sense? I actually think... Because I do feel like they have Path here. <clears throat> so if they had Path... Oh, well then we... Okay, well, they, have, they don't have Path. Wow, they could have made me... Mess up. Yeah. Yeah. We have yet to draw Pia's Revolution, which is unfortunate. I really like Thoughtseize in these matchups, in these control matchups. Do you? Yeah, because you get to see what everything they have, and you get to. It's, it's like these are the matchups where you have to play around a million things, like Electrolyze, Supreme Verdict, Torrential sure. Gear Hulks, and so like being able to actually rip a Cryptic Command out of their hand or like a Supreme Verdict is huge. Okay, I like that. I always like taking one Mox Opal out. It's just a card I don't want to draw multiples of. <clears throat> Um, Cutting's tough, isn't it? It, it really is, because like everything seems relevant. Yeah. We could just go up to sixty-one, maniacs. I actually don't mind that with the amount of lands we've been drawing. Done with the amount of lands. Sixty-one, we've been drawing. boy. Josh with the with the fragment with the fragmentize again. Unbelievable. Jeez. Let it go, buddy. What did you What did you design this deck or something? Vote for me. All right, I'm gonna vote for Swole Mike just Woo! for. Uh, Oh, uh, 5842 is pretty good, though. That's pretty close, considering you're literally here once a month, if that. That's true. So, I really don't know. I don't think that's worth being upset about. This hand feels bad. Really? Uh, Citadel's Drum triple Opal? Citadel's Draw 2, but we're, just, we're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. We aren't either. Oh, especially if they do have Sony Silence. That's actually... This hand is terrifyingly bad. Oh, that's good, though, right? Can we do that? Oh, we can fling it. Yeah, I mean... I'm fling it right in Jace's face. Could we? Nope. So that's... next turn we can Thawcast. We can Ravager Thawcast. It's pretty good. I mean, presuming they don't go Stony Silence, yes. Sure. I thought we had 296. Yeah, we probably did, and then we lost two. So yeah, it just that's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It keeps fluctuating, and it's extremely frustrating. Rest in peace, two subs. Oh, we did it. Oh, we survived. Oh! Um, single white up. We're jamming that now, right? Oh, we can't. Oh, yeah, we can. We can. We can. One, two. Won't work. One, two. One, two. So we have three mana total. Yeah, I, I think I think you slam the revolution under the counter. I don't think we're attacking for the win. You don't think we're attacking for the win that turn? Mm -mm, nope. Okay. The problem is there was a bunch of, so this is going to sound weird, but the problem is there was also a bunch of gifted subs around this point. And once those expire, um, the odds of the people who are, who they were gifted to resubbing on their own is very, very low. So those just lapse. And then you just see a drop off of like, of, of subs at that moment. We have literally no permanents that can do anything on the board if they play Stony Silence. Okay. We're, we're good. Search for Azkanta. That seems terrible. Basically us. a blank. That seems terrible. The best. Oh my goodness, we're we're drawing pretty hot right now. 
You have one land up, Ravager all day. I think he thought cast too. Oh, 100% thought cast. Yeah. Um, let's see. You can even pay for the whatchamacallit. I can pay for whatever. I'm, I'm a... Can't pay for a melee. I can pay for whatever I want. Okay. But he, he sacrificed it because of the PS Revolution. Right, but I'm wondering if I sack anything else first. I guess not. They have three, right? So, Or I could actually... We're going to add mana first. Um, That's a good idea. Out of blue. God, you're good at this game. <laughs> Boy, I know it. Um, I'd eat the opal. Would you really? That's what he says. <clears throat> You could fling it for less than lethal damage. I re up my prime sub to maintain your insanity frustration. Violated girl, I still appreciate it. Why would we fling it? Yeah, I'm not going to fling this one. <laughs> Matthew Ori, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I mean, at the, very, at the very least, we can play play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm That's just... what I thought your, your plan was. I'd rather sack a Citadel than the Opal. Why are we sacking it, though? He's just, just gonna. He's just gonna take three. Because it's just three damage, right? But that's that's still three damage, and we have five lands on board. Okay, then do it. Just don't talk about it. Be about it. And also, if we let this resolve, then we get an, we get another land anyway. But are we doing that? Why wouldn't we? Why do we want another land? Oh, also, it's six damage if they don't give it back. Is it? Yeah, because they'll pay three to not give us this back. They'll pay three to not give us this. If they give us this back, I'm oh, sacking something so good. else. Oh, that's that's actually really good. Actually, we should have. We could have just. Maybe we could have won here. Because we can actually tap this for. Uh, we would have fling mana, right? And so we'd have to. We, we could say go 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Like we just sack everything. And then what do they do? They give it, a, they give it back to us? Oh, I don't know other than the drum. Don't care. <laughs> don't care what you would have done. Tell me how you feel. We also got a thought cast on the on the stack. Did we play a land this turn? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's turn three. Yeah. yeah, we had three citadels. Yeah. <clears throat> oh boy, I'm going deep. I'm going deep here, boys. Because we already have the path on the stack, so we're getting we're getting back. Um, yeah, but how are we casting fling? Uh, we have a thought cast on the stack, so I mean, I, I think we'll be fine. They're at ten. So we can only get two polluted... Well, they're going to go to seven. We know they're going to seven. Because of the, the Ravager. Oh, yeah, you're not going to let the path resolve. Because we're only getting blue. That doesn't help us. I, I wish we had red. Yeah, we well, we screwed up. I, I, you made the right choice making mana, but it should have been red, I think. Well, because I was just adding the mana to make the mana to see what we drew no, off no, of no, Thought Cast. No, I understand what you did. I agree with what I didn't you did. see the win at that at that moment. Well, this isn't technically a very straightforward deck, let alone its affinity with this. And this is also the second match I've ever played with the deck. Yeah, so, so you should have been adept at this point. But it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. I don't either. Let my triggers resolve. Let my triggers go. Yeah, I don't think we sack anything else here. Other than the Ravager. You think putting them to seven is where we want to be? I don't think we want to be permanent list. If we sacked one more land and then we able to... Oh my god, this would have been the best win ever. That would have been pretty insane. It would have been such a good win, dude. Yeah, you screwed this up. I really did. Literally, this one blue is taunting me on the, take, in the side here. I hate I take, it so much. I take 5% of the uh, blame. Do we not want an island, though? Do we not want to have a third land? I guess we don't. I don't know. I just want these triggers to resolve. Is his name Car? Z X A A R. So it's Zixar. I don't know where the X is coming from. Zar, right? Zixar. Where's the Zix coming from? That's like Z I X. I don't know where the. You don't know where he's from. It could be a pronounced that way. It could be a pronounced that way. Yeah. It could be a pronounced that way. Now you're assuming it was Italian. I, well, that's how you said it with the uh. It was a... Uh, you know what? I hate you. Zixar. I try not to hate you because we're friends, but it's really difficult. Mm, I know. 64-36. Well, Mike, you're losing. I'm going to leave. You got to... <laughs> I feel attacked. I'm just going to leave. What are they thinking here? 
Because we could, we would sack another land. We would just sack all our lands, and they would either go to six. They would probably give this to us, I would imagine. Which technically is okay. That's a wash for us, because two is the mana that we want to be at, right? Two is the mana that we want to be at. Oh, Zaxor. Look, Zaxor is someone rang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. What's the holdup here? What's the holdup? You can't do anything. Except hit okay. Just hit okay. Don't let it end like this. Do it. Well, they're not dead by any means. No. But they're probably freaking out. I'm not angry, man. Is Soul Mike the Hulk to Thick Mike's Bruce Banner? Thick Mike is definitely not Bruce Banner. <laughs> Zach Sork, can you explain what the holdup is here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. F1. F1? Isn't F1 okay? No, yeah. I think it's F2. Uh, well, now it's just the two button. It's just two. Oh, but it used to be F2. <sighs> oh, together we can fight false news. We're taking action. We're removing fake accounts and we're removing fact checkers. That's. Small steps, man. Ten years in. Well, I don't think it was. I don't think it was relevant up until like two or three years ago. You know. True. Okay, what's going on here? This is, this is just ridiculous. Only four, fourteen more minutes till we win, boys. No less than that. <laughs> Only about seven, probably. Oh, that's true because of the. Oh, they lost connection. Oh, they disconnected. All I want to do... Thank goodness they have this search, though. Since we have a break, do you want to talk about Jesus? Uh, I have no real thoughts on Battle Bond, unfortunately. Oh. Was that code? What? I don't know. Are you... Because you're making, like, a thing of it? Because you, like, want to go... Like, we're going to go... We'll go I'll go pre-release or two at a giant with you or whatever it is. No, no, no. I, I'm not talking about that. What are you talking about? That? I said, do you want to talk about Jesus? And you said, I don't have any thoughts on Battle Bond. So I was like, no, because Matthew Ori, I'm literally responding to the chat. It said, do you want to talk about Battle Bond? You should actually, have you seen the spoilers? Uh, I've seen the ones that I've come across on social media. So you've seen the ones that you've seen? Correct. Okay. Dude, the set looks awesome. Yeah, but in what application? So. To I, play a few matches at a pre-release and then never again? Or? We, no, you know, shortstops will do events for it. I'm totally down, dude. That I love that stuff. You're never free. I'm here. I'm gonna be here Friday. Just playing some magic with Swole Mike B. Frank is running affinity. He's riding high to despair. He'll, he'll not fall if his if only his opponent would let his triggers resolve. <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. Was that a haiku? Your mother's a haiku. Got it. Yeah, you. Josh definitely loves Battle Bond. Let's see some flexing, boys. <laughs> Come on, Swole Mike, get it together. I would never, never do anything like that when I have that picture of Mike staring at me with his tongue out. Josh, would you say you like Battle Bond or Brawl better, as far as the two most recent Commander esque uh, Wizards options? I think he's saying it because it's, it's cheaper now. All the cards they're reprinting are, are Commander staples, like doubling sounds. Doubling, doubling season, season uh, um, you have doubling season, impulse. Um, impulse was not hard to get. I know, but I'm just saying there's... True some, name look, nemesis. Like this card, this card looks dumb. True name nemesis. Yeah, true name, land tax. Well, I don't think land tax was either expensive. Look at this card. Have you Ramble seen that yet? Sovereign. That card's stupid. Four, four. Are they packs? Yes. Or are they... Yeah, it's like, it's just like decks? unstable. No, it's unstable. Oh, that's more interesting to me. I yeah. thought they were pre-cons. No. Well, you don't have to say no like that's... Is this Tide Spout Tower in a common? It's gotta be rare. It's rare. Okay, it's yeah, it's all right. pretty sweet art because though. it looks it looks hard. It's hard to see yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of black in it. Bramble Sovereign. Our opponent just left. He's like, I can't deal with this fling bullshit. <laughs> Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay two. I guess I'll bring it up over here so you guys can see it. Wow, that was a big window. Whoop. What just happened there? What did you do? I don't know why I would do that. There you go. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield, you may pay two. So it's a four, 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 which is automatically yeah. pretty good. Uh, if you do, that creature's controller creates a token that's a copy of that creature. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. So you make a dude, and I'm like, I'll make a copy of it. Uh, did you see the Mystical Tutor on a stick? Like, that's... I haven't seen many of the cards. Dude, you should be looking at I want spoilers. you to take it easy. They're getting crazy. 
They're getting great. My problem is my main two formats are, are standard and modern. So if these cards are not playable in those formats, which I think they should be, I think they should be playable in modern, um, then I don't, it's hard for me to get super invested because also my main way to play Magic is Magic Online. So if I can't play this in a... Sure, it doesn't make sense. In a like... A, a format that's streamable or a format that that is readily available to me on Magic Online, it's it's harder for me to get super excited. So like this card is dumb. It's it's Academy Rector, but for playing. Yeah, walkers, I did see that. Right. Um, the other one that's really cool is. I like it's a one one and a one two instead of a two two. Yeah. Rector was a two two, right? No, I think Rector was a one one. Was Acad- it one Academy Rector? One two. Oh, oh, one, two. One, two. oh yeah, right. same. Oh, okay. Um, check check the um stolen check, stolen check, stra- check, 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 check it out. Check, stolen strategy. Stolen strategy. Not a mythic. A five mana red enchantment. Who saw that coming? <laughs> wow. All right. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library. So whoop whoop, assuming you have two opponents. Until the end of turn, you may cast non land cards from among those exiled cards. And you may spend mana as though. Mana... Okay, so it's basically just. Uh, That's just pure card. It's your typical man. red. Your red. But it, first off, it's only your five. Red, it's your red card drawing, so sure, to speak. Sure, but it's only five. Only five? Well, I mean, think about it. All the good ones are like six, seven. Is it cast? I think it's yeah. weird that it's cast because well, it also says cast and non-land, which is weird because you can't cast land spells, so that it almost seems kind play. of redundant. Yeah. So once it says cast, I don't think you also need to say non-land cards. I think that's that's a weird templating thing. Leo Magic birthday flex hard and see if your shirt rips. <laughs> Then I turn into Mike. I don't know if anyone wants. I think our opponent like get, literally gave up to this Arcbound Ravager. He's, he's busy trying to put us back down to 291. That was a sub joke. Can you imagine if I just added red, like this game would be over? Maybe they knew that and they're like, you know what? This I'm just game gonna, is I'm already just over. Back out. I don't know if it's over yet. Well, it's over in the sense that like they've left, but stunning reversal this card's awesome too like this is this is so sweet that's a, that's legacy four or... mana instant the next time you would lose the game this turn instead draw seven cards and your life total be... becomes one you start the game it's insane i want to play this in legacy yes legacy cube like that's a pure like storm I play this card. In, oh my god i want to play this in any cube i want to add this to my cube yeah you have a cube what shape is it i mean it's in a long box oh so it's not it's not exactly cube like but sure. I, I get what you're saying buddy Maybe I'll do a battle bond set review on YouTube. Yeah, you should. I wanted to. I was gonna see if you wanted to do it while we're here, because I didn't know. Well, it takes were... a while. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to be here for it, we can totally do that. Yeah. We could plan that actually. Yeah, let's do this it. This set looks really awesome. You want to like, do that Friday? We could probably do it Friday. Yeah, yeah, I'd have be, to change I'll be here my Friday, and I'll be here for a while. I'd have to change my 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 stream schedule, but. Hey, did you ever get that done? Whoa, we just won. Get that. Get what done? Remember, you asked me if I was coming over, or if we were if I was coming on my, on Monday. The label? Yes, it did. Okay, I shipped good. it out. Because okay. uh, right. I'm here now, and I didn't bring it with me if you needed it. So I wanted to confirm whether or not you still needed it. While you were here? Yes. Yeah, seems good. I brought my... I did indeed get it. My printer is in the car. <laughs> okay, well, I have basically the Vintage Cube minus cards over 500. So so basically you don't... So you basically have half the Vintage Cube. <laughs> that was a joke because... How, how many total cards in the cube? It depends. Is it like three, um, 340 or something? It's like, like 328, I believe, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. So he's got like 28 cards. Let's do some math. Three times, what, eight uh, times 15. 360. Yeah. 360 is the smallest type of cube because that, that lets you draft every card. Mm-hmm. So that way, if there's certain strategies in your cube, you can actually play them um, in a in a 360 card cube. But the weird thing is the Magic Online cubes are larger than 360. So in any particular draft, you may never see certain cards, which is really weird. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Uh, do I play donation decks? Actually, Platinum Angel, check my... Uh, what you're talking about right now is actually what I'm doing. And uh, you can check my Twitch profile for information on that. I will play first. All right, let's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mulligan. Still super cringy. Yeah, but do you have a choice? I mean, you really want to go to five? Because at least you have Ravager, Ravager. I mean, you have six lands that can give you six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have eleven hits that can play. I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. You eleven four, hits. You got five, three spires, five lands. two glimmerwoids. Okay, six, seven, oh, eight, nine. Oh, I thought it was four spires and two. That was six, seven, eight, nine, and the two fetches, ten, eleven. Oh, and the mo- and the mobiles. One, two, three. The mobiles, mobiles, the mobiles. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4, so 14? 
Springleaf Drum is like 17. Are we in the draw? Look at all these matches that don't close. Like, this is open. This one's still open. This one's open. We're on the play, which is scarier. I think we got them all this hand. I don't think it's good. I'm with you. <laughs> we got the Mopal. I'm going to keep it and hit a land. It is indeed a Mopal. Oh, no. Uh, you got to go. I'm going to laugh if we draw an Ornithopter. Turn if we go draw an Ornithopter, I'm going to laugh. Because <laughs> if we draw... Well, we wouldn't. We would have drawn that. Yeah, but I'm saying the turn after, if we draw an Ornithopter... I mean, like, if we draw an Ornithopter, it's the same as drawing the Memnite, so I don't feel bad. But no, like, no, it's not because it would have it would have turned on the. Sure, two in three turns in modern. I don't feel like that's. I, I mean, I don't think that's really. A lot. I I don't feel like we're that far behind because we bought him the Memnite at that point. See, that's so much better, you stupid Mitch. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Ah. How many Jessica? How many blue white decks are we playing against? Uh, uh, three. All of them. Three. Three. Is the uncommon cube up on Magic Online? No. They they would have had a downtime for it. You're a downtime. Oh, the uncommon cube is up. Yes. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. Do we just plating followed by thought cast? Seems good. Until it gets countered. Sober Robert, what's it going to be? I guess you're not sober Robert, you're drunk Robert. So you're, you're sober Mike. You're soul Mike. No. I am, so, no, you said it wrong. I'm sober Robert. I'm drunk Mike. Oh my god. The timelines are, are blending. Are they gonna, I hope they. Oh, it's remand. Be a remand. Yes. That's fun. Yes. <laughs> They're doing it. Now I wish I had a mem night. It's dead. Okay, I might have to change my. I think we might be done with Dominaria until. How'd you feel about the set? Oh. I liked it a lot. Did you? Yeah. I, I actually think it's it's pretty sweet. Dominaria. Yeah. Yeah, me too. That's why I've been drafting it nonstop. Uh, hopefully we thought cast. It resolves and we get a zero mana. Well, they only have... I doubt they have spell pierce. Oh, true. Sure. Yes! No, yes! We're very good at this we game. We did it! <laughs> very, very good at this game. I mean, we oh, we actually had a land. I didn't know I we had a land play. Me either. Do we thought cast again or do we just... A tog here. Uh, a tog's going to get bolted. But I guess that's okay, right? Don't we, we just sack an artifact? Yeah. I, like tog. I don't mind a tog. You don't one man up. It's because it's forcing a, it's gonna force a play from them. I mean, obviously you're playing into the thing in the ice, but. Right, but I mean, like, it's gonna get bounced. It's not a, it's not an atog horror because it really should be with this art. I'll be honest with you. Sure. <laughs> also, oh, I like the all all planeswalker stipulate. Oh, that's right. This the uncommon cube is interesting. I actually drafted Ali's uncommon cube in. Um, Ali Medwin, who is the one who came up with the the common cube. I actually drafted it in Seattle when I was there. And what are we sacking here? Probably just Darksteel Citadel. Yeah, I don't think we need a Citadel. He's got a second bolt. That's why he didn't do it in step, I'm guessing. Or not. Well, yeah, I guess he doesn't have to respond. Electrolyze? I'm wondering. Entrancing Melody. Uh, do I care about that? Is there a reason not to just sack the Thopter? Well, because we get it back if they flip this. Oh. I mean, like, they don't get that's to true. keep it. Well, they're going to they're gonna chump with it. So it's going to die either way. Well, it's tapped now. I guess that's fair. No, no, you know, I like your thought. No, I like that. Because it's tapped. I have seen Westworld, but I'm not caught up on this season. So no spoilers, please. I don't, I've never even heard of it. You've never heard of, you've never heard of Westworld? Mm -mm. Is that California? <laughs> God. <laughs> you should spend less time in the gym and more time in the... I went to the gym for the first time and I can't... Yesterday was the first time and I can't remember how long. Don't let him get that little cutie. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I like your thought process. I don't love it. <laughs> I don't love my thought process. You There's don't love it because I said I like Lightning it. bolt in response, I guess. I don't know. Man, we'll still respond, bro. We got responses. We're drawing two cards. We're live, man. This is crazy. 
Here we go. Wow, they had the double lightning bolts. No. And What's sh- blue? I have no idea. Sorcery. Oh, okay, sure. I heard there was robots in Westworld. Yeah, well, don't don't spoil, bro. There, there are. Doesn't know Westworld take this hobo back to the train. Yeah. <laughs> I just keep coming back, man. Good lord. I've memorized all the turns. Oh, look. It's not bad. It's our second friend. Just hit the fling and let's end this. Oh, that won't work. Oh my god, why did I pay? I paid double. I'm so stupid. No, you didn't. Did you? Yeah, I paid a blue here. Because I, I was thinking, I was literally thinking, oh, equip the equipment is double, double black. But it only costs one, so we don't need that. But we do need two colored mana for the black, so I want to add a blue here and add a blue here to cast Thought Cast. It was very strange. Why do we keep Thought Casting and Thought Cast? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... It sounds like you're complaining. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to. It sounds like you did. Okay. Let's just pay one. I'm going to do that. Okay. I agree with your... Fling. Yeah. Got a Mopal. Can we do 16? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think we can. I'm gonna chomp this guy down. No, 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 no. I'm gonna play this. Seven. This is eight. Oh, but he only gains. He only gains for. I wonder. They might miss that though. Like he only gains one for each artifact because then we lose the artifacts. Mm-hmm. So we could deal eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But. Um. I'm thinking the ice don't care. I think we just play this guy anyway. I guess there's no reason not to. Like, if they don't have a spell, if they don't flip thing in the ice, like, they're probably going to flip it on our turn anyway, so. I mean, they could just have four lands in hand, so. Whoa. What? He just completely passed turn. Yeah, they're going to flip it on our turn. Sure, but I guess it makes sense. He could have still attacked. Cryptic Command? That wouldn't make sense. Well, that's what's happening, so... Unless he's... What would he bounce that matters, I wonder? They're probably just, just drawing draw a card. card. Yeah, but what would the other... I mean, draw a card's what I'm saying. So what is he doing? I wish... It, like, I'm like, oh, can what you, did he do? Can you read what he's doing? <laughs> and bouncing cranial plating. Sure. Wait, hold on. Maybe cast... Uh, so wait, it's tapping... Okay, so wait, it does have a... This is actually the target. So if we eat the cranial plating, it counters the cryptic command, but our guys are getting bounced anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It stops them from drawing a card, and we is have that... second plating in hand. Wait, are those their modes? I literally have no idea what the fucking Yeah, because he's are. not tapping you down, because he, he's bouncing everything. So he's returning and drawing a card. Oh, I can right-click on it. Return, yeah, yeah, yeah. Return and draw. So if you do that, it counters it? Yeah, because oh. there's no target for the spell. Interesting. Oh, right, correct, because the only thing targeting is that one mode. Correct. That makes sense. So now it's a spell with no target. You draw nothing. Oh, please don't. Yes. Dude, that, that was so good. You're a legend. <laughs> That's what my mom used to say. I read the cards. Uh, One, two. No. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four, five mana. So we can go... Yeah, we'll play two things. We'll just play both the dogs. And then we can equip it at instant speed. For no reason. Actually. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. We have spiders. We don't have two mana. <laughs> no, next next turn, I meant, because we can play. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought you meant now. I was like, well, that's weird. No, I meant we can attack with both the togs. <gasps> Your mom's in a tog. You said that already. I mean, I just want to confirm. I just want I to heard know. the first time. Rude. <sighs> uh, we're not blocking, so I think you sack the Thop. Yeah, but the Thopter gets in with Cranial Plating next turn. It's true. Do we just get to Stark Seal Citadel? Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't think we need that much mana at this point. I'm down. Yeah, it's fine. Countered. Kind of. This guy doesn't know what They also doing. only have two cards in their hand, which is not a ton. So this is one, two, three, this is four in the air. Oh, they got a loot house. A loot house. That's actually, I, I like that name. Here comes the loot. Desolate loot house. Here comes Cryptic Command again. Oh, they're looting. Oh, wow. That's a dig. That's a that's a, that's a desperation loot if I ever saw one. Hmm. 
Zoro thought it was a dope play. I'm serious. You didn't give yourself enough credit. That was a good play, man. You're a legend. What are you saying right now? In this hour of Twitch. Frank, thank you for posting a whopping 36 Dominator drafts today. Your volume of content is well appreciated. <laughs> yeah, that's a good amount. That's pretty cool. I feel it's it's weird because I've posted 36 Dominaria drafts and I've opened zero Teferi Karns <laughs> or Lyras in those 36. Are you serious? Yes, zero. That's, that's absolutely terrible. That's not including the ones I've played in. Didn't open them in those either and didn't post. So, one, two. Uh, this is buck, pretty good. Buckle my cranial shoe. <laughs> Three, four, shut my cranial door. That's Oh like, my god. So, really sad they're good at this game. Why didn't he attack? Well, because I have three dudes. Okay. I mean, <laughs> one of them does zero. Two at most. So one, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh, there are eight. Seven. You had lethal on board. No, we don't. You did if they attacked, I meant. Right. Yeah. But not now. Right. Right. I, I'm still swinging. Well, they block here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We lose an ATOG. Galv we lose Galvanic all... Blast off the top. We don't have that. Oh, crap. Do we just pass here? That feels really bad. It does, doesn't it? Because they have a loot house. I mean, I know I've done at least 40 drafts. So, I know it's been at least 120 packs that I've opened with zero of those cards, which is very, very strange. Why is this Ornithopter highlighted? There you go. <clears throat> wow, Spell Snare is so good. Yeah, we don't have it. I feel bad just waiting, but... It's not like we can even trade correct. with the horror. Like, if you can trade right. with the horror, then it matters. Because then it'd be 7-8, sure. and 7 eights battling 7-8s. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. They only have one card, though, so, like... They're That's gonna, true. They're either going to draw out of it, or they're not, because they would have done something last turn. We draw a lot of thought casts with this deck. We've drawn a lot of thought casts with this deck. That is not a card I care about at all. Mm -mm. See where he's crying? Oh, good. oh, he went bottom. Put on the bottom. He's looting. Incoming loot. That's a bolt. Do we care? I, I don't. I don't think. We do only because we want two atogs. Because if they block one, we want to be able to get through with the other one. All right, true. But right, we're what's Thopter doing for us? Uh, if we draw a cranial plate, I know it flies. It but... just it, it, that's it's huge. If we draw a cranial oh, plate, okay. So we have look at all. The, get rid of the drum. Yeah, but then the opal's dead. Ugh. We just gotta get rid of opal. Oh well, sure. That feels bad. But another one's a dead one. No, another one wouldn't be a dead one, anyways. Right. No, oh, no, it would be a dead one. No, it wouldn't. One, two, three. No, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> no, it I literally didn't, no, replaced no, no, I didn't mean. I, I didn't mean activation wise. I meant like the plus two, plus two, having the second one in hand, sacking the first one, and then playing out the next one. That's what I meant by dead. I didn't mean. The, I mean, you can say the same adding, for any any card we have. Though. Sure. Yeah, I, I think you get rid of Opal. I, I like the ability of having the other Tog. Three lightning bolts. Actually, I like the I like getting rid of a Tog. Or, I'm sorry, I like getting rid of the Opal. No, but then fling. I was going to say we could attack for one with the other Tog and then fling for seven, but we can't because we'd lose the Opal. If we draw plating, we can instant equip for lethal anyway. Yeah, but that being the case, like we can do that whether we sack the Ornithopter or not. Hold on, how do we have lethal with a plating? I don't think we do. We don't. We're not even close. We have one. We have three artifacts. Three so like we just put three extra damage. It's not. Yeah, it's not no, even it's close not. to lethal. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna get rid of opal. You should get rid of the opal. Oh yeah, swell Mike definitely offers up more more discussion points than than thick Mike because thick Mike doesn't actually say that much. <clears throat> Come and knock on our door. We've been waiting for you. Answer's three, dingus. I'm waiting. Opponent disconnected. The funny thing about the cranial plating math in this deck is that the it in, it invalidates the atog. 
So that's where the com- that's where the confusion comes from. The right because you have to sacrifice the artifacts, which was already pumping the power in the first. Right, place. so you're you're netting one less yeah. than you normally would. Mm-hmm. So basically, the lightning bolts are like killed a a mox opal there, which is totally fine. Can we just find an answer to this awoken horror? J.K. There is none. Dispatch. In the sideboard. I'm just going to hold this. We have no reason to show them this. It's got to have reach, right? Look, I'm sending a message. What? He said if I introduced a cup, I just don't have ice. Is that your... That's my cup. Huh. Yeah, that's the size of that straw. Yeah. It's a big boy. Where'd you get that straw? At your house? You got straws like that in your drawer? In your yeah, actually down? we do. We buy a bag of them. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Fantastic. <clears throat> it's almost as good as our polluted Delta. <sighs> they wish it was as good. They just get lightning bolt, right? It's got to be just lightning bolts. Uh, because you obviously haven't been around for honesty streams, and that's probably why I got five or six votes. So everything isn't terrible. You're terrible. He, he's terrible. Entrancing Melody. Isn't that a sorcery? Oh, they're on their turn. Yeah, well, they can... Do they steal an Atog? Yeah, yeah. Jesus. How the mighty have fallen. Can we just draw Cranial Plating here? Entrancing Melody is cool. Cranial Plating is a two-turn... Oh, yeah, look, they're getting aggressive now. All right, big boy. I had to pay Frank 15 bucks to sit here. He did. <laughs> I love him. 15 bucks is the price of admission. What did we draw? I missed it. We drew a Blink Moth Nexus. Sweet. If you had a choice of seeing four non-blondes or Heart live in concert, which would you choose? Well, I've never heard of either of those. You've so. never heard of Heart? No. Or four non blondes. I would go for hard, obviously. That was hard. real? I think Yes. And I say hey. Who's that? That's four non blondes. Nope. I can't believe you haven't heard of heart though. That's nope. pretty impressive. What'd you say? You've never You said hey. I thought you were typing in Barack. <laughs> Why would I type that? I don't know. I I find it hard to believe you never heard the song. Oh, I've heard it, yeah. This is heart. Okay, but I don't listen to that kind of music. That kind of music being so, what classic rock? <laughs> well, that no, hold on. That's now now apparently Metallica and like that's classic rock. This is from seventy seven, dude. <laughs> that's still classic rock. Okay, let me rephrase that. Like it's not nineteen forties, bro. What's uh like Green Day is now considered classic rock. It's but it's not to us since it was our generation. I didn't listen to classic rock from my generation. Wait, I, what I does that mean? To regular rock from my generation. Wouldn't regular rock from your generation be like Green Day? No. Aren't we the same Green, age? Green Day was before me. How old are you? Like five years. I'm 31. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 31. So you're literally four years it. younger than me. I had to think about it. Yes, yeah, Green I Day is your generation. Years. I just said five. No, I literally just said five years. That's close. No, I didn't listen to Green Day. That's amazing. No, my generation of rock was like the new metal stuff, like Slipknot and Disturbed. No, I was the same generation as you, dude. No, you're not. You're four years ahead of me. Green Day was not irrelevant in a four-year time span, dude. I just didn't like Green Day. Green Day is actually still around now. Can we talk about the fact that I just didn't like Green Day? No. All right. <clears throat> uh, whip, whip flare? Whip well, Flesh seems terrible, right? Does it? Yeah, what does that do? Well, I like Etch Champion actually a lot. Rob, how long do you think a generation is? Clearly four years. <laughs> you like Etch Champion a lot? I like Etch Champion. It still gets bounced. It's not a soldier horror, It gets bounced, yeah, but it doesn't get blocked. And it doesn't get bounced, yeah, but it doesn't get blocked. <laughs> Here we go. Th- things are heating up. Same question, but insert New Radicals in Eve 6. <laughs> I'm a big New Radicals I've fan, actually. I've never even heard of New Radicals. I've heard of Eve 6. Um, they neither of them had very many radio hits. Actually, I like Eve Six a lot too. Okay, hold on, I got a good one. Okay, it's Dispatch nice. actually seems great, even for its single ability, because he barely has dudes on the board. I mean, young, we saw Young Pyro, but uh, his name is Young Peasy. Mm-hmm. Him. Fling seems good. Does it? 
Man Swole Mike sad. officially sucks now. I'm, dude, I'll, I'll come and chat right now and I'll, and I'll time you out. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will touch you with just the tip of my band sword. Buddy. My band sword. I will strangle you to death with my microphone wire. <laughs> <laughs> I can bring in one dispatch. It's got the fling. Is that right? That feels bad. I think fling should come out because of you know they're packing remands and stuff. And they have uh, you really want a dispatch? I put one in. I don't know if I want multiples though. I don't want to be stuck with multiple dispatches. You ever listen to Dispatch, the band? No. Do you know who they are? No. <laughs> That's a good band. Is it? Yeah, you should. I should what? Listen to them. Should I? Feels like music you'd like. Don't ask me what kind of music you'd like. I like that against the non pass decks, we can take out the island and just replace it with the hollowed fountain. <clears throat> Alright, this is fine. We'll do this. Did we just board one card? Yeah. No, we boarded uh, two... Oh, that's champions. Yeah. What'd you pull out? A mox? I pulled out a mox, a thing, and another <clears throat> thing, and this and another thing that was the right. Sure. Yeah, you saw it. You kept this hand? Is this deck a paid submission by... Not, this is not a paid submission by Swole Mike, but it is a paid submission by uh, Josh V. S. Did you just ban? Did you just time out? No. <laughs> you total... I did not. My phone's been there the whole time. I've... Wait, what? Who did that then? What did he say? Can he you said, see you totally did it. No, I swear to God, I have not touched my phone. I swear to God, I haven't touched my phone. You know me. I'm all talk. I never follow through. Yeah, you do. You totally follow through. No. I you swear... brought me a cup of whipped cream <laughs> from a Dairy Queen when I asked for a milkshake. Oh, man. See? Look. I told you it wasn't me. Oh my god. You guys are amazing. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Jesus. I told you I didn't do it. This man, this stream is lit, dude. Yeah, you had a twelve second time. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> you got I told you just the tip. Just the tip. No one needs to hear about your tip, okay? Yeah, big tip. It was Akbar's tip. So I'm just going to play drum, and then we're going to thought cast here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. You can if you activate your Blink Moth. It's not the same as just... Oh, paying one. Sure, sure. Yeah. You're so smart. Dude, you're a legend today. Okay, I'm just actually... I actually think if you played Dominaria, you would pull a Karn. Wow. You're well, honest. we're going to do a Dominaria. We'll do a Dominaria draft after this. Why are we doing the uncommon thing? The uncommon? Why aren't we? It's a Koob. Because you just said if I pull it... You just said if I open to do it on my air draft, I'll pull a card. I was trying to make you feel better about yourself. I wasn't being serious. How would that make me feel better about myself? That makes me feel worse because then I have to do the draft to actually get it. I wanted you to think about it when you're laying down to go to sleep. Be but like, that would make me feel worse. Then I have FOMO. So is would it feel... What? Did you just make up an acronym? FOMO? No, it's fear of missing out. No one says that. People definitely say FOMO. No. It's definitely a thing. No. Uh, yes. Uh -uh. Guys, can someone confirm that FOMO is a real thing? FOMO sounds like what's inside of your pillow. If I send you my actual copies of Dry Limits and Millennium Furniture, will you sign them for me? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Yes, FOMO is a thing. No, 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 I wasn't saying fear of missing out is a thing. That's not what I'm saying. No, he's saying, they're saying the term FOMO. The acronym FOMO is a real thing. Totally made up. No one's, one dude said yes, one dude said no. Okay. Yes, FOMO is a real thing. Fear of missing out is for sure a thing. Yeah, but you're, they're not thing. specifying. They're literally saying FOMO is a thing. Oh, my God. Please specify because Swole Mike doesn't know how to actually interpret communication. <sighs> what do you want to do this turn? I don't know. There's a lot of things. We have a lot of options here, FOMO. Well, it's turn three, so we have a land to play. Something magical just happened. One, fo <laughs> one FOMO buck. <laughs> I gotta say, Kerwin is the most consistently funny d donator. 100%. Uh... You can get a band too, Manly. Yeah, people do say YOLO. YOLO is also a thing. Quick timeout. Alright, so we have access to four mana. I'm pretty sure it's Blink Moth. We only have one colored spell. Oh, you know what? Uh, I got a better idea now. Okay, what's your... So we can actually cranial plating equip and signal pest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This deck's good. Or we could just revolution here. True, but why not force a uh, get the damage in? That's a, We have a lot of damage on board right now. 
One, two, three, four, five. That'd be six. Six damage. Well, because if they play like... What? I don't know. I'm worried about them countering this, but... Yeah, but with six damage on the on board, if they're spending their turn to counter, that seems pretty good. Take it. <laughs> FOMO is a thing if you're a teenage girl. Yeah, I don't I think I think it's really silly to shame people for their use of acronyms and 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 uh What? modern no no listen oh. you're, just let me finish my thought and then you can then you can then you can interpret um shaming people for their use of acronyms or their use of uh modern cultural slang like people who say bay or like people who say yolo like it just seems really silly to uh to criticize people like that and to to be like oh if you're a girl a teenage girl you'll say it but i don't think that's that's not really how language works language usually uh is created and evolves from younger generations and then it spreads in such a way um and so like being like, oh, only only the stupid, only kids or only young generation uses this language. Yes, at the beginning, at the onset of language, um, and then and then it expands and everyone uses it, and it's much more common. But I mean, like having that kind of narrow view of of, of how how language works is always really funny to me. <clears throat> they can't play three spells this turn. How about I play? Hold on before you do this. Okay. The reason being is because you, it looks like you have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, it's only 10 damage. If you... I just think language is evolutionary and language is also generational and things change. Like, people say cool and dude and awesome. And like, you know, 40, 50 years ago, no one would say these words because it, they just weren't part of the parlance. <laughs> But, I mean, people who, who shit on language, and, and the, specifically the language young people use, um, they, they don't seem to have a grasp of how language works. <clears throat> what's, what were you saying? What do you, what's our plan here? Uh, no, I was thinking we could force um, lethal, but we can't. It, I think we're one, one artifact short. Or for, force a block. Or I mean, they have two. Lethal. They have two mana up. They can have multiple spells. Sure. They can have double lightning bolt. You know, I'd, I'd rather not just try to go crazy sure, sure. here. I kind of just want to play disciple, because then we can actually still keep up. Uh, a revolution. No, we can't. We can't keep up double black though. No, but you. No, but so why don't you play disciple pre combat because the effect is almost the same as revolution, and then what you can do is um, post combat P as revolution still see if they respond to the disciple when you go to your attack phase or maybe they respond to it on the on the why don't i just play ps revolution first well because i think you'd much rather them spend their mana dealing with a disciple of the vault or countering the disciple because the effect is pretty linear and you got a lot of the effect is pretty linear. Linear, linear effect with a lot of the damages on the board you're a lot of damages on the board all over the board we yes go. remand this remand would be super interesting i know that would be very that just i mean i'll just windmill slam ps revolution oh, if that happens windmill Deal. Uh oh, do I just pay one for this? What? 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 Oy. Yeah. Why wouldn't I just pay for that? Yeah, they're they're damage based. They're not pathing anything, so That was really yeah. strange. I actually like that. I like it a lot. And they're tapped out is really my my point. Sure. I mean, I think they're going to flip this guy next turn, but yeah. I mean, our, our our hand is so cheap, and we have double blink moth that and I don't they're know taking they a lot of damage here. Like you block here, you have to block here, or else you're dead. Yeah, so they just lose their thing oh, in the yeah, ice this anyway. Is great. We did it. My only concern is anger of the gods. No anger is really what I'm looking for here. Here we go. They're going to anger. Yeah, it's an anger. Never didn't. So have revolution it. wouldn't have mattered either, would it? Neither no, would have mattered. Great I mean, we, can actually, we got man lands. Like, we're still... Creature lands, yeah. You right. Oh, well, that's it. Unless they have an answer, right? Oh, no. What am I thinking? They're at eight. Yeah, I'm I don't sorry, know what I'm you're thinking. I was I'm like, sorry. that's a... You're... Mm -hmm. Yes, I am.
I like everything you're doing. I mean, it's still a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh, I was see, I was close. You're not wrong, yeah. They go to one, they can't even crack <laughs> their Flood Strand. That's actually pretty good. Joke's on them, they should have responded to the damage by cracking the strand. Yeah, you stupid dummy. <laughs> I would have showed you. All right, well, game three. Shame scoop. No, that was a loss. That was a real scoop. Yeah. That was a... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, when you're at one life, Felice on board. That's an actual scoop. That is a scoop from real life. I hope I'm not missing anything in the chat because um, it's harder to, to, to chat with you, Gio. Resub, thank you so much for the resub. Five months in a row. My emotes working on That's how I knew my sub ran out. Nice. Appreach. We're back up to 296. 290, looks like we're 296. This should update in a second. Man, two, 300 has been so elusive to keep. <laughs> Um, I like this configuration. I think it's fine. Yeah, I guess I'm okay. I mean, I really hate Anger of the Gods against us. It's really good. I agree. I mean, if we have a sack outlet on board before they do it, it's now, great. Now, hold on now. Here's another thing. They're very threat light, and their threats are mostly start on two. It may, on the draw, Thoughtseize actually doesn't seem that bad. I like it better than Dispatch. I mean, I think Dispatch is pretty narrow, and I think we can actually... 61 on the draw. I'll do it. You won't. I just did... You don't think <laughs> I will? I play 41 Unlimited constantly. Oh, boy! Oh boy. Um. Oh. This hand is really slow. Yeah, we can't. We can cast everything. We actually yeah. can't. If we play this first and Thought Seize, then it, it dies. Battle. The double Citadel activate the Thought Cast, but. I mean, we can just go like... turn two Thought Seize, turn three Thought Cast. It's so slow, though. And there, but if we do have a lot of chances to hit uh, live cast on turn one. Live cast, was... yeah, li like a live cast that turn that keeps our glimmer void on the battlefield on or... turn one. Yeah, because we're on the draw. Magic is hard. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep it. I don't. Uh, we're on the draw. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't know, because I'm streaming, chatting with people. Have I have a, a guest here, and I'm playing a deck that I'm completely unfamiliar with. You should let him know. No, I'm good. Okay. I don't like telling people I'm streaming. Oh. Never didn't have it. I, I think you Glimmer Void. Why? Why would we ever risk that? If they have a Lightning Bolt, we just lose this. I mean, I guess we could play Dark No, Tissimo. I was saying Glimmer Void Thought Seize. But then we just lose the Glimmer Void at the no, end of the turn. No, doesn't it bounce to your hand? No, it just you know, sacrifice oh, it. Okay. Even if it does, right. why would I ever put myself behind a land? Uh, that's real ambitious, dude. That's actually that's fine. A, that's perfectly fine. That was good for us. Make sure you... Oh, well, now we're good. I'm going to assume this resolves. You're not going to be logic non -ing. There it is. Young Pyro. I knew he had opt, a spell snare. Opt, opt, remand, spell snare. I knew he had a spell snare in hand, too. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm really surprised they didn't play that. <clears throat> if he misses land next turn, that's pretty good for us. I, uh, I mean, we knew they were going to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Actually, what I'd rather them hit lands. What do I care? They have an Opta Spell Snare and a Remand. They, well, my, my thought was it's... Let them be... draw all lands, please. Oh, that was a good draw. Why would you not want them to draw lands in this situation? I don't know. Yeah, it was very weird. I was like, please draw lands. Because if they draw spells, that means they have things to do against us. I mean, now we got a revolution, right? Just to get on the board. Uh, we can revolution and play Disciple here. Yeah, you're right. But we don't have any artifacts is the problem. I'd rather just Thought Cast... I mean, I'd rather just sneak in a Tog down, but... Yeah, actually, a Tog seems pretty good here when they yeah, only have Remand and, have, and, and Spell Snare. Spell up, yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. And we still have three artifacts to sacrifice to this guy. And also, Pia's Revolution with both of these is really, really good. Yeah. Yep, that one's gone. And nothing in our hand they can Spell Snare, so that's pretty good. We do have to win in five and a half minutes, but, you know, we'll manage. You okay? What's going on? No, I'm just reading. 
Well, if you've got, if you seen them funny, read it out loud because I can't always <laughs> check. It said that Mike B's been eating too much spinach. <laughs> and then the other one said... Um, this is Anchor Tattoo. Yeah. Kenji. If you attack, I'll 100% block. Oh, that's really that's good. That's pretty good. That's a spicy meatball. So we're going to go black for Disciple. Actually, do we just play Peace Revolution first? I mean, they're tapped out. I don't think anything matters. One, two, three, four. We have five mana, so we're going to play three things. Signal Pest is definitely coming down. I kind of like Master of Ethereum. No, that doesn't pump Disciple. Right. It doesn't yeah. pump Atog either. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like, P I, get, I like getting Revolution down yeah, here. Yeah, do it. Do it. Put it down. What? I feel like with this deck, there's like there's a winning line here somewhere. We just have to find it. Like we have all these pieces, and they're moving. You're moving. Double block. Ha, <laughs> baby. You have baby arms. Do you watch Hulk? Uh, or Thor? The new Thor? I the Ragnarok. Yeah. Yes, four times. You have baby arms. You don't remember? How do you not remember that scene? Was that the Hulk? Yeah. Well, because no, you're not doing a Hulk voice. They you're doing say, an Arnold no, Schwarzenegger they, voice. They say. <laughs> You have baby arms. He's like, I'm you like, have baby arms. No, you have baby arms. You have baby arms. You're not doing the Hulk voice. You're doing it. That's why, because I'm like, I'm hearing Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I'm like, when was Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie? He was there. No one, no. Was he? No, he wasn't. Oh, dang it. You lied to me. <laughs> <laughs> His opinions are worse. So they drew land for turn. And they have like 37 spells in here. Abraid this guy, huh? Um, do I care about that? I can sack like a I can sack a Dark Steel Citadel for mm -hmm. that. Take four to the face, bro. If if he gives this one back, I sack the second one. Oh, 100 percent They took three. Sure. Actually, how much can we sack here? Well, you're gonna well, I think Opal can go. Yep, I agree. Because <clears throat> it's going to get turned off anyways. You want to take more? You going to nine here? I mean, they can only sack so much. Oh, they just gave us the opal back. Now I can sack this, I think. Oh, no, because it's not turned on. You're right. I mean, you could. Nah, I'm good. All right, fine. Nah. No, because then we only have signal pest opal, so... Oh, they also have one mana, so Master actually resolves here? That's pretty sick. Yeah, three ops. You got it. Popped the opt. He already played land for turn. Why would he opt on his own turn? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I I don't. I don't know. I just work here, man. So aggressive. That's relevant. Our whole hand is pretty relevant, so. Yeah. Oh, second opal. You want to give it back? You want to give it back? Oh, oh you got him! What? You'll we didn't even have like fine. lethal there. No, what? we probably did. Really? Uh, we have Signal Pest and the other guy, and yeah, it's, I mean, we have a lot of damage. Well, on we couldn't get damage through that turn, at least. Whatever. I don't think they wanted to deal with it. Either way, that was pretty sweet. Um, this is almost going on two hours now. We only got about, was that three? That was four rounds, right? It was three. Was it three? Yeah. Are you sure? It was definitely three. We played, we played three blue-red decks. Uh, well, one Esper and then two, one Jeskai, and then... You're right, it was only three. Yeah. All right, we'll do one more. Let's just jam through it, though. Just jam it. Because he was right. We were taking a while. But I think there's a lot of decisions, and also there's a lot going on. So hopefully that's okay. Yeah. We'll do the quattro. We need to stop entertaining people and start playing magic. <laughs> uh, we'll play first. Oh, boy. It, I, I, I hate this hand less than I should. I'm going to keep this. I actually like it. Signal pest and a signal pest and a signal pest seems pretty epic, but... Yeah. 
I mean, the fact you have double plating and arc bearing, like you. It's modern. They yeah. just don't have to have removal, right? No yeah. removal. One mana removal, that is. Turn around, Quende. Every now and then I fall apart. When I need you more tonight. Oh. 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 Let's just show that we're superior. Oh, look at oh. I'll play my land last. He probably has two lands. He they, probably kept a two lander. They. Huh? They probably have two lands. You're right. But oh, do they have double that was, pest? That was oh, such a good draw. Game over. Right? What's the play? Double pest? I like double pest. And then if we draw on the land, we can they play can't, them? Only the Thopter can block them. Right. Thopter. Oh my gosh, if we get to go. <laughs> this is six damage, right? And then plating is like a, a lot more? Yeah, it's two, four, six damage, yep. Plating is another four. When I watch on YouTube, five. I'm there for the magic. When I watch live, I'm there for the infotainment. Nice. <laughs> Here comes, a, here comes a cranial plating of their own. They always, they never don't have it, so that's good. Now we just have to hit no, a third a land. Your mom's a race. Did you hear when I said your mom was a race? I did. I was soaking it in. Hmm, good to know. So mm -hmm. we take seven, but they take six. And if we draw plating, it's actually, well, well that's not what we One, wanted. One, two, three, four. I like thought casting here, hitting that land. Double land. <laughs> we just lost. It's not good, dude. This is no bueno. I'm pretty sure we're actually dead. One, it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We go to one if they don't have any artifact whatsoever in their hand. Yes, but if they if they swing out, we just win on the way back, don't we? So, so if we hit a land, six, seven, eight, nine. They hit a land. We're dead. Like, they hit an artifact. We're dead. 9 and 6 is 15. I don't know what you're saying right now. We're dead. This is... This is amazing. No, we're not dead. Wait, what? 7, 8, 9. Wait, what? They can only do 11 here. No, they could have dealt 12. They yeah, attack they, with... No, 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 they could have. You're right. They attack they with this. Seven, this is eight, nine. This is two more damage, and the extra artifact makes this a third. No, no, no I agree that they could have, but I'm, I was doing the math. It still doesn't matter. Jesus. Woo! I mean, we kept a risky hand. Let's be real, but... We've had all three of us here before. Uh, we can take out Island. Bring in Hall of Fountain. <laughs> um, take out Mox. Take out... Take out the Fling... I think Josh would think we should play Fragmentize. I well, I'm gonna <laughs> yes. I Josh, I agree with you, buddy. <laughs> Josh, I agree with you, buddy. Oh, Whip Flare seems good here. JK, JK. He was lying. Everyone in chat's gonna be like, Whip Flare does a little damage to the artifacts. It, we can't board it in because you'll kill nothing, stupid. And then they'll just be like, Yeah, I, I knew that it was a joke. That sounds like a YouTube comment. That is 100 percent a YouTube. <laughs> That's a YouTube comment. Were you being serious about the whip? The, the, this is what happens. They go, were you being serious about the whip flare? And then two minutes later, there's another comment. And they're like, okay, I just saw that you weren't. <laughs> they're like, pause, pause, oh, pause, pause. <laughs> I can't hit the pause button <laughs> fast enough <laughs> to make that comment. Play. Oh. Oh, I'm so tired of this. Jesus. This is actually not. <sighs> it's not great. I hate it less than I should. I don't think you can keep this simply because you 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 have to rely on the top of your deck. Like, you have zero pressure the way it sits. You have zero pressure, you stupid idiot. If I had zero pressure, <laughs> I'd be this hand. Yo, well, you should have kept the first hand. <laughs> if you, if you would have kept the first hand. The old hindsight. Now, like, your first now. hand was better. Hold on now. If we scry land here. No, I'm 100% keeping this hand. I got double mem night, bro. What are you going to do? Why didn't you scry land? I did. I scryed it to the top when I put the, uh, the disciple to the bottom. Oh, okay, sure. God, don't you know anything about magic? I don't play this game. Give me a Glimmer Void into Spring Leaf into Fragmentize. That's all I want. We can, we can Fragmentize there. Do you guys think these guys aren't going to kill him? Mem Knights. Them? God, drums every time. Got a couple of Merm Newts. Merm Newts. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good old Merm Newt. Let me guess. You got a 2-1 Flyer. Or Pesty. Hey! Oh, yes! I'm good at magic. <laughs> You're so good. You're a legend today. Do we kill this? This or this? No, you kill this pest. 
Do we? I like I like. Deading. You don't want to keep them off the second mana? I like deading the path. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I threw up my mouth. I have no idea what just Why happened. don't you play plating next turn? <laughs> uh, I may. Okay. I just may. I'm thinking about it. I'm certainly thinking about it. Guys, you know better than I do as far as affinity probably because I'm not a huge affinity player. Uh, is it better to kill the Springleaf Drum and keep them off their colors or is it better to just kill the Signal Pest? What colored spells are they going to play that really bother us? Galv Blast. Thought Cast. They don't play Thought Cast if it's a regular affinity deck. There may be two at most. I see one vote for Pest. All right, Pest it is. <laughs> I see one vote. We're taking one vote. I have no idea. Kill the artifact. Kill Pest. Kill All right. Pest. You guys nailed it. I don't know. Fragmentize the face. I think that's probably the best play. That's worth a couple damage. It's worth all the damage, Robert. Affinity is 90% erase. race. Okay, that's good to know, actually. Robert's mom is also 90% erase. race. I didn't want to I didn't want to tell anybody, but I just decided to. You just decided to? Yeah. Okay. I That seems good. I mean, plating seems better, right? I like plating here. Quit plating. You played too much. Quit plating with my heart. You oh. remember that time we had four cranial platings? Tell me all about it. We lost that game. Sad. Because we had no man. No land. Sad. Mm -hmm. Total eclipse of the... Oh, look. See, look. Would they be able to cast that if they I didn't have their spring leaf drum? You should have hit the spring leaf drum. Weird. Are we mad that they galv galv blasted our, our Memnite, though? I'm mad that we gave them access to spells that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. Whatever, man. Why can't you just answer the question? Yes. Okay. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad we got through this together. Man, they're really getting aggro with they're this. They're probably going to pump. They didn't pump. With their mutagenic growths? No, can't the Nexus pump each other? Can't you pump your face, you stupid dummy? Face pump. Got him. Oh, pump. Uh, galvanic, galvanic Blast in response. Little pump. See, this is this is why you killed the Springleaf Dragon. That's why they didn't pump. Yeah. That's why they didn't pump the whole time. Yeah, this Pomp. is why we got rid of it. This is why this is why you keep them off their colors. Pomp. <sighs> sure, whatever. It's wow, look at this legendary Mox Opal. It's, it's not even fancy. Yeah. Isn't the isn't the new border terrible? No, I like it a lot. You seriously like that? Tell me what. Explain to me what you don't like about I it. I will tell you. Let me tell you. Okay. So can you? Thank you. So if you look at the the, it looks like a child, uh, scribbled. The border. <clears throat> why does it look like that? Why do you it, associate that with a child? So because first off, it's an elegant symmetrical design. It's symmetrical. I'll give you that. I didn't notice that until now. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's just like copy pasted an overlay on top of it. Isn't that the entire border of a magic card? It looks like an overlay placed no, no, no. on top of a card. N no, they're no, they're cohesive. They go together. That is not. That's just they, it goes they together. Took the old card and they threw they threw a border on it. All like this is literally an old card with a border thrown on. All cards are cards with borders thrown on them. Like there's a border around the name. There's a border around. There's a border on the art. There's no, no, a border no. The old around... cards, older cards are made. The ones that are not like that are made with the border around them. That looks like a card that has a border thrown on top of it. That's why I don't like it. Um, but okay, so I'm no, I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you. Like yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Yeah, but like that doesn't look like it flows to me. That that doesn't look like it goes together with the card itself. That looks like something is like if someone were to were to put a magic card on the on the on the table, cut their own border with their little, you know, shapes on it and then glue it on top. I should have six my turn cuz we were in this discussion. That's pretty bad, but I don't think we're winning this game. Um I mean, like, okay, but let's say that's accurate. All right, I'll give you that. I'll say, let's say it looks like it's a border on top of the card. Mm -hmm. um, who's to say that? I mean, there, there's literally a drop shadow behind it. You can see the shadow right here, sure. right? Sure. So who's to say? I mean, like, that's clearly intentional. It, it's supposed to look like something that's on top of the card okay. that makes it stand out. Well, I don't think you're wrong. So why did? What, yeah, but what about that is not? I just don't like the way that it looks. I don't. I don't like the lines at the top. I don't. So so it is symmetrical from left to right, right? Well, Ho horizontally it's symmetrical but it's not symmetrical vertically which right, I don't like right but that'd that. be weird because it's supposed to represent like a crown like it's supposed to represent like uh, if you a, look at it that way sure it, well it's, it, that's that's the intention so yeah so yeah, I, that's well, why I, I look at it it just looks like a border to me right but I feel like if you're going to have this opinion you should have all the information right I'm, I'm not I'm not shutting you up okay but I mean like the point is it's supposed to look like a crown to represent the the, the legendariness of it like the uh, you know the prestige of it like it's it's a card that you can only have one of on the battlefield the uniqueness of it you that know makes sense 
So that's why if you had it at the bottom, the bottom would look even more weird, I feel, because there's actually relevant information at the bottom. Where there's no relevant information at the top of a magic card above the casting cost or the, the name. Sure. Plus, it would also get in the way of this. So, like, there's there's lots of reasons why aesthetically it fits at the top, but not on the bottom. I think you have to equip plating here. I think we're dead to this stupid idiot. Yeah, that's why we equip plating. They have no cards in hand. It's actually... So we have... Do you equip plating or do you get your, your clock on the board? Oh... Uh, because you can always equip plating next turn for the Ornithopter block. Well, we're actually... This is a this is three. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I think you have to equip plating then. Oh, no. Squirrelmonger, I get that. Not every opinion is a factual position, especially with artistic stuff. But if you if you have an opinion on a subjective matter like an, like art, I would like to know why. I would like to know why you're feeling this specific way about a thing. Because a lot of times it's irrational. A lot of times it's not rational. And it comes from a lack of knowledge about the... the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The purpose of... of like, this isn't, this isn't only artistic. This is functional as well. No, I, I get that. I agree with you there. I get that. But, I mean, also with Magic players, you're looking at a lot of people, a large swath of people sure. who dislike change simply for the sake of change. Oh, the new borders. This is the end of Magic. It's ruined. And like, that. but yes, but people get like yeah. that, right? So I don't, I want to make sure that's not a place where you're coming from. No, Where you're just an old man disliking change <laughs> uh, for the sake of change. Because I can... I you're could, not a person disliking change. You're an old man. I know. Disliking that's... change. I really want to play something here. Actually, we can. We can play Atog. Oh, and then we can equip. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. A total equip of the heart. And our own limit making. We only have one of the uh, infect, right? Yeah. Our draws have been terrible this game, to be fair. So. Yeah. I mean, the, this and match, rather. Turn, this too. match. <laughs> right. The skipping the turn was not Well, idea. definitely our game one, our draws were literal horrible. We had cranial plating for each arm and leg of our thopter. Well, and then there's that. So that's just attacking through it, and then he attacks next turn in this game. I mean, they have to sacrifice a lot of artifacts to do that. Yeah, but they just leave one land and then a nexus, and we lose our blocker. Don't talk to me about blockers, you stupid Mitch. Oh, that's Rob's old man voice. <laughs> I want to know why it's only legendary creatures the new borders and not planeswalkers. I agree with that. Um, I and I think the, the reason for that, I think, is because a lot of times the Planeswalker art extends past the border, so it's a little bit harder from a like a technical re from a technical aspect to actually do that. That's the only thing I can think of, and I, I, that makes sense to me. Because just because it exists doesn't mean it, it has to actually actually function. Like it has to work. I just got a tip. Did you notice that one? I did get I did get Kerwin's one nonsense bug tip. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. What's a tip? Uh, it's a it's where someone gives you money for a service rendered. But I mean, is this something that was on Twitch that we didn't notice? Yeah, it just popped up. It was Kerwin. He said one one nonsense buck. Oh, so it was a donation, but you're just calling it a tip. That's why I didn't know if there was a specific. No, it's the bits. same thing. There's, oh, you know, yeah, same, that's what you're saying. No, yeah, no, it's the yeah. same thing. Wait, what's going on here? He's sacking. Oh, every, he's sacking everything to Ravager. Yeah. Good lord, this is aggressive. What did we board in? Uh, fragmentize. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dis Watch if we draw it, dude. If we draw that instead of a disenchant, that'd be hilarious. Um, I wish we had more artifacts on board. That's my really, that's my feeling about it. Has Rob seen the donation gif, the bit gif, or the donation gif? I'm sure he's seen both. Is it the tongue one? Is it the? I try to look away one? every time I hear it. Not from nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't equip though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my god, we're really we're actually surprisingly close. <sighs> Is it better to equip though? I don't think so, right? It's one, two, three. We're sacking it anyways. 
Right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, so I don't think you equip, if anything, you cast the second one. I don't think it matters, right? Yeah, he's like, just going to chump. It doesn't matter. And then he attacks. Oh, I forgot he had a guy to chump with. Yeah. That's also relevant. I was just getting... I got I got disciple blinded. You got lost in the sauce. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Dang. Yep, that's game. Yeah, our draws were not ideal this match, but that's what are you gonna do? That happens. Either way, um, I don't know what else you can really change to the deck. Like the only other option, like realistically, is taking out the Atogs and the Pias, and then you just have regular Affinity, which is which is pretty boring. Um, I don't know if I care about Whip Flare. Like you're never gonna like there, there's there's very rarely a matchup where Affinity is gonna have like like you're you're not gonna have more creatures. They're not gonna have more creatures than you. Um, and if they do, you should have things like Signal Pest or Ornithopter to get around them. Yeah. And you have ways like Pia's Revolution and Disciple to get around that. So I don't actually like the Whip Flares in the sideboard. Um, I think Disciple of Vault has nostalgia to it, but I actually think Pia's Revolution was just better every time. I so, do too. So I actually think, I understand that we're wanting to be part Affinity, so we want to keep the cost down, but I actually think the ability of the Revolution versus the Disciple... Uh, is just better, and I think you free up extra card slots by cutting the Disciples for the quad Revolutions. The Revolutions themselves, they stack, right? So that almost forces into your hand, or it's six to the face at that point. So when you're trying to create that loop, technically if you have both, you know more than one Revolution, you're kind of putting them in a spot where they have to give it back to you. Or they're taking six. Yeah, I kind of like the revolution. I would actually cut Disciples. I would add one more revolution because I think the card is good. Um, and I would also actually just add more artifacts. There were a lot of times where I just feel like you didn't have a high, high enough concentration of artifacts. Uh, and I think I think I agree with Disciple. Like, dealing one or two points every so often is just not good enough. Um, like, if you have an... Like, a lot of the times... Here's the, the problem with Disciple. When Disciple was legal with the, the, the lands... It gave all your lands, which were all artifacts, uh, just an extra point of damage. So if you have like five, six lands, that's an extra six points a game. Um, the problem now is that a lot of your artifacts are just better than the one damage. Like I'd rather have an Ornithopter on board than a than, than the one damage. I'd rather have a Signal Pest than the one damage. So this is just a card you play. And if you end up sacrificing this to like Ravager, you get a point. But the cost of that point is having this as one of your cards instead of like a better card. Um, I think Pia's Revolution is very, very strong, though, because three damage is a lot stronger. And just being able to get back, if they kill a Cranial Plating, forcing them to take three every single time. I'm actually surprised this card isn't more prevalent, because it's actually a strong card. In an aggro deck. In an aggro deck, in a right. Deck that's like in a deck damage. that's, right, in a deck that you want to have, like, more damage. So you could have, like, third or third or even fourth Pia's Revolution, and then put in, like, two of the, uh, the two one flyers. I would probably bring another Springleaf Drum. I do like the Atogs because I think you do, do want Sacrifice Outlets because of Revolution. Um, I also like the Fling. Maybe even a second Fling because you do have Ravagers as well. Yeah. Because generally you're not trying to Fling for 20. You're trying to Fling for 8 or 10. Or 5. Yeah, yeah. even like, even like yeah, big yeah. 5 damage is yeah. fine. Or like I can see even replacing the Flings with something like Shrapnel Blast because they're... It's just a lot Guaranteed. of damage, and they take another 3 if they let it... If they if you have a Revolution out. Oh, that's, that's dumb. That's a lot of damage. That's really good. Plus, it's just a better card in general, like... I think I think Shrapnel Blast, while not as cute as Fling, Shrapnel Blast I think it's just a stronger does card. Does it hit? It's any target. Yeah, that's what I was to say. It, it hits creatures too, so technically, um, it, it's got more versatility there. Right, and like whereas like you can sacrifice, it makes a Mem Knight five damage. Whereas like you have to have Atog or Rockbound Ravager very very large. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you still get one more artifact. I think it's probably just a fourth Mem Knight here. Like I think you want to maximize like Springleaf Drums, Mem Knights, Ornithopters, and Signal Pests. Someone done this to me. I think it was meant for you. Who? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that's hilarious. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I actually, but like I said, I actually like the deck. I think it's pretty sweet. Um, I like Etch Champion a lot, obviously, because it's just one of the stronger cards in the matchup. I don't know what I'd add to the sideboard though. Fragmentize needs to be replaced with the um, the split card. Since where our main colors are red, white, um, you know what I'm talking about. Wear yep. and tear, yeah. Wear and tear just seems better. Also, I don't like deltas when we have steam vents and watery graves. Um, like the obviously the blue, like obviously blue. Well, maybe yeah, it's fine. I guess these could be anything. It doesn't really matter as long as they get an island and a steam vent and a watery grave. Yeah, that's fine. 
Um, yeah, I think wear tears. I think wear tears better. It's also an instant, which yeah, is stronger. Yeah, instant speed is the main thing. I don't actually notice the the the, the two mana is really not terrible against us. Uh, you should run before shrapnel or blast just better. That's a good question. <sighs> Galvanic blast might be better. Four damage is a lot. Yeah. It, I mean, but the, the difference here is, are we trying to play Affinity and optimize this deck, or are we intent on making Pia's Revolution better? If we're intent on making Pia, if the if the, the purpose of the deck is we want to play a deck where we can functionally use Revolution... Then we're sacrificing we something. Yeah, we, it works. That's what we're trying to do. Because, let's be honest, if we were just going to put in Gal Blast, then a Tog is really unnecessary at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because then we're just... I, I want to get not... like I don't want to be too close to just regular affinity. Right, and I agree with that. So I, I think Shrapnel Blast is... In essence, it's the right card. I mean, also, like, if you got rid of the Thought Seizes, you wouldn't really need black other than for Cranial Plating. I almost think, like, having a basic... I, I was I, just going to say that. Get a basic red. I like a, I bet like a basic Mountain in the deck, to be quite honest. Just because you yeah. can search for it. And I think these should also be Scalding Tarns. Because then you can search for your mountain, or and they, it's two path targets as well. Based on your budget, of course. I don't, I can't afford. Because budget. I don't think you need the watery grave. Like, no, you don't. You have black in the sideboard, but like you still have two glimmer voids, three spires, and four mox opals, and four springleaf drums. We've been up to springleaf drum count. Yeah, I, I'm with you there. Let's go double scalding current over polluted deltas. Oh my god. I love mountains. They're my favorite land. Amazing. Oh boy. We need two more sideboard cards. I don't know what Affinity usually plays. I think a singleton rest in peace seems... Well, you have Grafdigger's Cage too, but there's such a different effect. I, I don't... I mean, your cage is in there as a two of because of company decks, right? That's the only main difference between if the reason you've run that over rest in peace. So I think you either pick there. I, I think that all, well, this is also an artifact which is relevant, right? Well, I'm not saying you should remove it. I'm saying you you would pick a side. I don't think you need three versions of graveyard hate. Like there was a game where we thought about bringing in rest in peace, and we didn't think Grafdigger's cage at the same time. So now we have three card sideboard slots that are trying to functionally do the same thing, but we're not. We're in a position where we're like. Well, this one just seems better than that one, so let's bring in one. I kind of like Damping Sphere, actually. Well, yeah, Damping Sphere actually seems... No, Damping Sphere is bad for the Affinity deck, though, because you can't play multiple cards on the same turn. Yeah, but by is... the time you're casting Damping Sphere, you're already casted your hand. I guess that's true. I do like Spell Pierce, though. Spell Pierce takes care of a, a lot of problems. Spell problem. Pierce seems and it's, uh, really good. Oh, wow, I just typed in Spell. That's never going <laughs> to... That's Spell Pie is what we'll look for. Yeah, we'll do these old school rap. Yeah, I think two spell pierce is just fine for now. It's like a placeholder. Um, if you guys find anything better, definitely use that. But I think Spell Pierce is great because it's one mana, which is perfect. It's the perfect point price point for this deck. And uh, there's a lot of cards that can disrupt our strategy. So, um, Silent Gravestone is also good. The problem with Silent Gravestone is that you can never activate it. And it's yeah. just worse than Graft Digger's Cage, I think. No, I definitely think Cage and Rest in Peace are both okay. I just think you don't need a 2-1 split of the cards. You just pick one and you run two. That's my thought. I don't think you need three. Really? Rest in peace doesn't. It's not. It it's it doesn't hurt you, right? Yeah, you're, none you're of your stuff. To race well, no, in rest in peace actually does hurt you because of Pia's revolution. Oh yeah, you're right. I so don't like rest in peace because it's con it's con it's contrary to Pia's revolution. Actually, yeah, we don't want to be like that guy that was playing. E and it was Sony yes, <laughs> and it's also contradictory to the disciple when the disciples in the deck. So I'm gonna get rid of the rest in peace and actually put in a third Grafdigger's cage. I think that's better. Yeah. All right. Good to know. That was actually. Uh, that was a good catch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys got some info out of this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you guys want to have your deck critique, uh, check out my Twitch profile. It's in the, the link is in the description. You can check that out and we can we can do that. Uh, I have decks coming up on Thursday and Friday of this week as well. Actually, this is going to go up on Thursday. So Friday and Monday I have decks going up. Um, and if you guys want to support me on Patreon, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons and we'll see you next time.